contestants as they make their way up on the stage. Come on, give it up for our contestants. Give them a round of applause. Okay, so as they come up, I'm just going to give you a bit of context on the rules of engagement of this quiz bout. So the nature of the questions, our questions are going to be multiple choice questions. This is going to be a one round only buzzer round. Now what that means is the team that presses the buzzer first, as soon as we ask the question, gets the soul right to answer said question uncontested. If they get the answer correct, they get 10 points. And if they dare get the answer wrong, ooh, we don't like those. They lose five points. Okay, okay, okay. And the team that has the most points by the end of the barrage of questions will emerge our victor. Awesome. Now, thank you so much, Anissa, for going through the rules. Just to introduce to you guys these beautiful people that we have up here. Now, number one is Hatfield Zone, that's under Pastor Mubatsa. Number two is Masasa Park, that's under Pastor Dondore Matsa. Number three is Sally Mugabe Heights, under Pastor Mutsunge. Number four is Wesley Zone, under Pastor A. Gunda. And number five is Avondale Zone under Pastor Chibanda. Are you guys ready? All right, all right. Ready or not, let the games begin. On my mark, question number one. What type of bird did God provide for Israel in the desert? That is booth number five. Number five. Correct, it's a quail. Question number two. One title of God is El Shaddai, which means what? Any takers, any takers going once? Come on. Whew, it's getting hot up here. Okay, let me make it easier for you. A, option A, Almighty God. B, the Lord who sees. C, our provider. D, master. Yes, number okay, one. Okay, that's number one. A. A, Almighty God, correct. Question number three. What is the highest contributor to GDP in Zimbabwe? Is it A, the mining sector? B, the services sector, C, the agricultural sector, D, the wholesale and retail sector. Okay, so number five. Number five. Get the buzzer before you. The agriculture sector. Eh, wrong. It's the wholesale and retail sector. I am so sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. Question number four. What is arguably the greatest technological advancement of the year 2023? Is it A, 5G technology, B, artificial intelligence, C, virtual reality, or D, smartphone? Yes, number three. 5G technology. Sorry? 5G technology. Eh, that's wrong. It's actually B, artificial intelligence. I'm so sorry, man. Question number five, which country in Africa is known for both having the largest population and for being one of the largest oil producers on the continent? Is it A, Kenya, B, Sudan, C, Nigeria, or D, yes, Booth number, number three. number five? It's Nigeria. Yes, that is correct, it's Nigeria. Number six, in which month and year was the ministry founded? Is it A, August 2008, B, 
So number five, once again. August 2008. Correct! Now, question number seven. You gotta hit that buzzer fast, guys. You gotta hit the buzzer. You gotta, real fast. Number seven, when did we have our first ever UFIC youth experience? Okay, yes. nice one. Number three. Say 23. August 2023. Did you say August 2023? Yes. No. Sorry, man. The answer is Sunday, 9 July 2023. Number eight. State the UFIC annual theme that we had in the year 2020. Was it A? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come let's on. Let's go. Come let's on, go. A uh, year of creativity. Sorry, come again? The year of creativity. Ah, uh, man, I'm sorry. It was actually the year of excellence. Bummer, right? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Okay, question number nine. What can be considered the most important attribute of prayer that contributes in getting better results from your prayer life? Okay, number two. Okay, the work of the hands. Sorry, come again? Work of one's hands. It's actually the quality of your prayer. Sorry, man. Sorry. I mean, it happens. It happens. Okay. Number 10. In this sermon, our father touched on Isaiah 150, which says, and when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. From this verse, which factor affects the quality of your prayer? Is it A, your dealings? B, the works of your... Okay, this goes to number three. Your dealings. Your dealings. Did you say your dealings? Yes. Sorry, man. The answer is... No, hold on, hold on. You said your deeds. Oh, your deeds. Yes. Should we give it to them? Should we? Should we? Whose sound is this? Should we give it to them? Should we? Okay, we'll accept that answer. Congratulations, guys. Okay, now this is the final question. I'm sorry, guys. This is the final question. So it's, it's do or done here. Last question. How many books are there in the Old Testament? Number three. Hey, number three. Six to six. I mean, their reaction alone kind of speaks for itself. The correct answer is C, 39. Bummer, right? Sorry, but give them a round of applause. They did amazing work up here. Give them a round of applause. That was pretty interesting. Hey, 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 hey. Did some of you even hit the buzzer? Did you get a chance to hit the... Sorry. All right. So now that we've rounded up our uh, crossover edition for the God Nation quiz, we are going to get into the next segment, which is our prize giving, of course. Now, prior to this, we actually had a first God Nation quiz segment, and that was back in October. So we have winners from that group, and also we're going to announce the winners 
for this group. But honestly, please give them a round of applause. It's really hard to do this in front of people. I know I couldn't do it. It's really hard. I know I, mean, I couldn't do it. He said 66, y'all said no, I said 39. It's really difficult. Now, we would like to invite our youth pastors up here for our prize giving segment. Please give a round of applause for Pastor Simba and Pastor Chantel Kwaramba. You can do better than that. Come on, youth. Show them some love. Show them some love. Show them some love. We're a God nation. We live the God life. We are the current generation. Living the God life. Okay, now remember I said before we did have a prior quiz competition to this one, and we do have the winners for that quiz competition. And the actual winners for the first competition were the Hillside and Cranbon Zone under Pastor Rukwati. Come on, come on, let's show him some them love. A round let's show him some love. Let's show him some love. Let's show him some love. Well, they come up, come up and get you your gold. You guys prize. can come and get your gold. Come and Get your trophy, you deserve it. You did great, that was not an easy round. All right, whilst they're coming up, we also want to announce the winners of the Five Aside Soccer Competition. And those winners are Westgate Zone under Pastors T and T Makandiwa. Give them a round of applause as well. Show them some love. Show here them some they love. come. Here they come. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Hey, come hey, on, hey. Come on. Come on, you guys. Show them some love. Congratulations to our winners. Alrighty, and we have the five aside soccer champions right here, Westgate Zone. Go get your gold, go get your trophies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, drum roll. Okay, 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 okay. So, the scores have been tallied and the results are up. And our winners for the crossover edition of the God Nation Quiz are headed by Pastor Chibanda. Give it up for the Avondale Soul! Goal, girl, go get your goal. Go get it. I tell well you, done, you earned you guys. it. Well done. You earned it. You earned it. You earned it. Congratulations. Oh, give them a round of applause once more. They did good. They did good. All right, let's give our contestants a round of applause as they exit off the stage. That was a really great competition, guys. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And also, let's give a round of applause for Pastor Chantel Kwaramba. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, just like it was announced before in our compilation video, we do have the youth camp coming up in April 2024 
I know, right? Come on, come on, come on. You can do better than that. Show us some hype. Come on, aren't you hyped up? Yeah, it's got some hype in it. Okay, okay. So as we head off stage, once again, let's show some love. Let's show some love to our youth pastors who've made, who've helped us make all this possible. And let's show some love for the announcement for the youth camp. Once again, come on, come on, come on. can see there's lots of us in the overflow and there's an overflow of the overflow out there tent one to four this side and then there's a tent more tents on the other side we will if we get a chance we will go there so we're going to talk to two people two people I, I just selected two people that I could talk to briefly please make it brief sorry Face the camera, people want to see you. Okay, what is your name, ma'am? Abigail Modena. Okay, Abigail, what does this night mean to you? Um, for me, this is, um, you know what, I could have done this at home. We could have all done this at home, but we came for the presence, and because we're here, we've come to say thank you. For me, as, um, as the year was a year of God beings, I literally crossed over from January to December as a God being, was, be it my academic journey, be it health-wise, be it even family at home finances, I crossed over as a, as a God being. So I've only come to, to say thank you to the enablers, those who enabled this journey, the prophets of the house, Emmanuel and Ruth Makandiwa. I just came to make it official that I crossed over from January to December. So. Uh, until 12 midnight, it's just going to be saying thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Give it up for Abigail. What does this night mean to you? What's your name? Okay, my name is uh, Tafaro Oscar, and um, this uh, night signals a new beginning, an opportunity to start afresh, um, a new chapter, a new ascension, and um, the shifting to a higher level. Wow. Wow. Give it up. Overflow. Okay, we did say that we we're going to have some live reads um, online. Uh, hello to Titi Chigodora from Haberon, Botswana. She's tuned in. Shalom to Norman Zirima from Leicester City, UK. Shalom to Tario Anesu Muzukira from South Africa. Uh, shalom to Kinsman Owusu from Ghana. And once again, shalom to, who is this? Praise Penyai 
connected from London Porters Bar, Nottingham, Nottingham Branch, UK. Whoa, okay, and all right. Lineti Barura from South Africa says, my year is always made easier because of the way you started. Crossing over with the great prophets of God, there is no way, there is no better way to do it. Isn't that amazing? Thank you to our online viewers. Keep tuned in. Keep your message coming in. Love more. What's happening in there? So I'm in the main auditorium and I'm with Mrs. Mangara all the way from Sydney, Australia. Please, can you tell us? Yes, yes. A round of applause all the way from Australia. And she's right here in the Basilica waiting for the great watcher. If you can tell us, what does the crossover night mean to you? And what are you expecting from the crossover night? Uh, thank you, men of God. To me, tonight is an extraordinary night where I've just come to give thanksgiving to the Lord. I've come with an attitude of gratitude to say, Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has taken us. Thank you, Lord, for 2023, the year where we transitioned into God beings. Powerful, powerful. Come on, let's celebrate. I mean, this is crossover night. We are standing at the brinks of a bridge about to cross over from the 365th night of 2023, crossing over to the first morning of 2024. And a shout out to our online viewers. Uh, we have a couple of here. Online viewers, Maud, Sagonda, Shalom. Uh, we have Du Knight from Nigeria. We have uh, James Chilawila, Shalom, uh, connected all the way from South Africa. Let's continue bringing in those messages. Tonight is going to be a special night. So we're about to take a moment. We're about to cross over to media. We're about to get and reflect on the 2023. And we're about to receive the 2023 in retrospect over to you, media. It's not UFIC if you do not start the year with a crossover night with the theme and declarations from God's servant, Emmanuel Makandiwa. This is not just a theme. This is a prophecy. The theme for 2023, the year of the God being. There were great milestones in the year of the God beings, some of which we will share in this short video. The year started in a unique way with select days on prayer and fasting in preparation of the year of the God beings with articulate instructions on prayer and fasting. From tonight, before you go to bed, it's an hour of prayer. One hour of prayer. This week, we are dedicating this week to knowing the mysteries. Knowing the mysteries. Knowing secrets about you. Whatever has been spoken about you, which is for you, will surely come to pass. The victorious ladies kicked off the year with their first morning glory session, ably led by Ruth Emmanuel Makandiwa. Morning glory sessions are held every Saturday morning at every UFIC branch and zone. Women gather mostly to pray, worship and fellowship. Everything else stopped. Business stopped. Money stopped. Wife still happening. The long-awaited couples three-day seminar took place in February at the Harare International Conference Center with thousands in attendance. 
the interactive conference gave couples an opportunity to learn, refresh, and restore their marriages on a much deeper and vulnerable level. Emmanuel Makandiwa borrowed deep into intimacy, communication, behavioral patterns, conflict resolution, and many more. Because you are there in his life to make sure that you establish a community around your men. Some couples even won themselves some prizes in the process. UFIC Mutare, a city more than 200 kilometers away from the capital, Harare, was favored this year with services held on Saturdays over a period of four months. The man and woman of God would minister the word. Healing and deliverance would follow thereafter. Countless healings and miracles were lodged. From the substance, which translates to women of substance, a select group of ladies that have partnered with Mom Ruth and are committed to supporting and broadening God's work within the church through their substance, held the first of many events that would take place in the year of the God Bees, the FDS All Night Prayer. In a display of paranormal behavior, the man of God, Emmanuel Makandiwa, prayed for everyone, that is, each and every individual at the UFIC Basilica. We are talking about thousands upon thousands in church as well as the overflow. An undeniable display of supernatural strength which left many in awe at such a demonstration of power in a short period of time. This was a prayer for activating the blessing, a subject he had been teaching on during that season. This is also the season where he declared the 92 days of multiple miracles and breakthroughs, which correspondingly recorded phenomenal testimonies. Mom Ruth held the annual pastor's outing in March, a platform she uses to train and equip women of God for the advancement of the work of the Kingdom of God. Top-notch speakers and coaches were invited at the outing. The pastors left the seminar later with information. Once again, the FDS, the Women of Substance, held an event. This time, it was a fundraising dinner meant to support some of the projects within the UFIC. The Passover conference is one of the main events on the church's calendar. And what other way of celebrating Passover than having both the generals of God, the spiritual father to Emmanuel Makandiwa, prophet Victor Kusipoote, and his beloved son ministering together. This saw the official opening of the UFIC Basilica on the 9th of April, where powerful declarations were made by prophet Victor Kusipoote over the church and the land. I want to bless my son, Emmanuel Makandiwa and Ruth Makandiwa for piling up resources. You could have depended upon the house, but you wanted to build an altar. This is not just a building, but an altar that will speak for you Speak for your children, speak for your children's children, and there is no curse that can stand against anyone that has your DNA. Heavenly Father, this is the handiwork of man, which was inspired by your spirit. And I, as a servant of God, also being an authority, being the father of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa and Ruth Makandiwa, I officially open this house. I decree from today that no enchantment against this house will stand. This house shall be called a place of God and this house shall be called a place of solution. This basilica will be a statement in this nation that Paul has started a new way. But this is a place of deliverance and this is a place of breakthrough.
as we cut through the river, we cut through the challenge of every member's life. As the scissors cast through, I open it up in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mom Ruth Emmanuel Makandiwa introduced the girls' unit so that their different age group spiritual needs would be met. The groups are exuberant, valiant, daring, audacious, and the Odysseys, which are led by various lady pastors. Their first meeting was held and the turnout was amazing. Australia was remembered. Mom Ruth had a two-day meeting with this privileged UFIC branch. When a believer is baptized, they are confirming their union with Christ. In the month of April, some of the UFIC members were baptized in huge numbers, endorsing their position in Christ. I'm so happy today I received my baptism. I was baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ah, I'm so happy. I'm now a new creature, and I want to thank my, my mother and my father, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa and Ruth Makandiwa, for giving us this opportunity to be born again through the baptism. I'm so happy. I love you. I love you a lot, Mama. I love you a lot, Daddy. As is their designation, the FDS had another function, this time the Mother's Day luncheon, where ladies were encouraged to treat their mothers. The mothers were grateful. They left the event loaded with gifts. The God Nation, the youth department has seen growth, intriguing and interactive activities in the year of the God Beings, with outreach programs around the country. Emmanuel and Ruth Emmanuel Makandiwa gave the youth a platform to share what it is they want the church to dwell on for the benefit of the youth. The intercession department held monthly prayer meetings at the UFIC Basilica that were open to everyone. The month of September has been dedicated to celebrating a great woman of God, Mom Ruth. Over the years, she has celebrated a birthday with the less privileged channeling resources to prisons, children's homes, widows and widowers in different communities as well as schools and churches through the welfare department Agape Family Care. Consistently this year, the resources from the September to Remember Golf Day and the Fun Day were similarly directed to the less privileged. The Chinoy Prayer Mountain has been given a facelift owing to the multiple projects that were championed by the Victorious Ladies Department, who in turn held their annual camp meeting, which was held in Chinoy. The theme for this year's meeting was Against All Odds, with upgraded and new guest rooms, as well as a top-notch restaurant, which was built over a short period of time. In the middle of the forest, there was a city. A sea of women encompassed the mountain with the word, prayer, worship, and celebration. There is only one outcome after this, triumph. Against all odds, you will come out victorious. The men's fellowship were not to be left out. They simultaneously held the men's clinic in Harare where health practitioners were invited to address issues pertaining to men's health like prostate cancer and other related ailments. The men were offered free prostate test kits. The three-day UFIC pastor seminar was to follow with the Servant of God ministry. The sessions were interactive, the dimension of wisdom remarkable, the depth unheard of. FDS observed a week of prayer and fasting, ending with an all-night vigil led by Mom Ruth. The Victorious Ladies Good Steward Appreciation Dinner was held at the Life Haven. An appreciation night for those who consistently take honor and pride in their service. The Family Gospel Concert and Raffle Draw was held at the Harare Gardens where two vehicles, deep freezers and stoves and other consolation prizes were up for grabs. 
Agape Family Care, the welfare department within UFIC, held an appreciation dinner for their partners. Other projects that were held by the AFC Country War include the following. I'm a legal practitioner, and today through Agape, uh, we are here as the legal department. I really want to thank and appreciate Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa Mama for this initiative. We were given an opportunity even for us as the lawyers to assist a lot of people. And today we assisted women, we assisted men, we assisted children in different areas. From family law, inheritance law, succession, from property divisions, and I really want to take the time to appreciate Mama. We could tell that a lot of our people had deep issues and we had the opportunity to direct them in terms of the legal steps they should take. We empowered them in terms of the rights that they have. And I believe that this initiative had a positive impact and we look forward to another opportunity where we can actually assist people. In honor of Ruth Emmanuel Makandiwa's birthday, which she celebrates every year in different communities, the charity arm of UFIC, Agape Family Care and Partners, donated bags of millimill, groceries and a grinding mill to Homefield Center. So today, as Tanyana to family, we are so happy to receive the grinding meal from our dear mom. We are also happy to receive the peanut butter grinding meal and one hectare irrigation drip kids. So this shows that your love is continuing to us. After growing our maize, we now have our own grinding meal to make our own meal. We now have our machine to prepare peanut butter for the kids. This is going to give more health to the kids, to the caregivers. Dino Pakutenda Shkuru Kunamai Ruth Makandiwa Nechipo Shavandipa Chezinu Zuo Seis. Nukuti vane rudo wa nditi la rudo wa nisinga fungiri pa zuvara nasi. Dino tena nukundi ranga ila kwa vayi taba madha siti yei zuvara nasi. Kivandi <laughs> It is indeed a night of celebration, a night of elevation, and a night of worship. The glorious night, an all-night event that most of the victorious ladies look forward to because they get to dress to their nines as they celebrate and worship. It is also an appreciation night where ladies who have worked and contributed above and beyond were appreciated with awards and certificates. 
The FDS had their annual trip, this time to Dubai. The outing included five days and five nights on a cruise ship and two days of shopping and sightseeing in Dubai. Then there was the Birth Festival, a convention set aside in honor of the General of God, Emmanuel Makandiwa. December happens to be a special month. It is a month where we celebrate our gift from God. Emmanuel Makandiwa, an embodiment of the true servant of God, a fountain of wisdom, a man who serves the Lord fervently. This is evidenced by the word, the deeds, and God's exploitations through his hands. The year of the God beings ended with the girls' outing. These outings allow for the girls to not only learn or be imparted with wisdom, they also permit the girl child to interact and learn from their peers and share their different experiences. The icing on the cake, the word of God. Emmanuel and Ruth Emmanuel Makindi have accomplished so much in just 15 years of the church's establishment. With more than 150 branches and zones in Zimbabwe, the Americas, Europe and Australia, the church celebrated 15 years this year. This has been the year of the God beings. We look forward to the next chapter in 2024. It's not UFIC if you do. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Are we still excited to be in the house of the Lord? Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? Let's just do this. Shall we stand on our feet? 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 I want to hear your excitement in the house of the Lord. Somebody scream! Okay, Ben, take it down. Take it down. I want to hear the left hand side only. The only guys. Baruch said, come up here. We want to make the loudest noise. Mudimeka, can you scream? Much better. How about the center? Center only. This side, the center only. On your own. Can you please make some noise for Jesus? Okay, how about the right hand side? Vargo, right only. On your own. Can you make some noise for Jesus? Now, how about that pay? The right hand side pay. Can you make some noise for Jesus? Okay. Before we move to the choir, overflow. Can we hear you make some noise? Ah, uh, is that overflow? Is that overflow? Overflow. Can we hear you make some noise? Mariko. Now, last and not the least one, choir. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? Can we have some noise? <laughs>
It is heating up, it is heating up. We are now getting closer to being with our father and our mother. There is no other better way that you can have waving goodbye to 2023 other than doing it in the presence of your father and your mother. A big round of applause to the choir. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of things that have been taking place. A lot of miracles took place in our midst, a lot of testimonies. We have got some specially uh, gifted people who are there to present this to us so that we will know what God has been doing uh, uh, unto us. Among us, there are a lot of things that took place. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome Dr. Mutewe and Pastor Chris as they come to give us my testimony. A big round of applause as they come on stage. Come on, you can do better, you can do better. Give it to them, give it to them. Give it to them, give it to them, give it to them. Igwe. Shalom, 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 shalom. I cannot hear you, people of God. Shalom, people of God, shalom. Before they say anything, we are looking good, men of God. We are looking amazing. My name is Jeras. I know that we can testify to the fact that we are looking amazing, Doc. Thank you. Even Nigerians are jealous so fast. Thank you. It's just the accent which is not there. <laughs> People of God, we want to thank God this evening. This year has been a very wonderful year. We have witnessed so many outstanding miracles through the hands of our father and our mother. Um, if you are to put them together, you know, we can spend like maybe two weeks talking about each and every one of the testimonies. But what we know, men of God, is each and every one of us sitting in this place is a miracle. Yeah, true. Because without the grace of our Father, you would not be in this place. And each and every one watching us online is a miracle. Yes. Because without this grace, you wouldn't be watching this viewing. You know, when we look into retrospect of this year, Doctor, you start seeing how far and how further the hand of God has gone in saving our lives. There are so many things that has happened to such an extent that some of the people, we never thought they were ever going to come back to sanity. Some of them, we never thought they were going to survive in such incidents that they found themselves in. And even when you look at even how the year was, you actually see how the man of God came about with the theme God beings, because it is only God beings that could survive this year. And it is a testament that the people that are listening to us, that are watching us today, they are indeed God beings. And they have managed to travel through time, through the grace of our Father. And you know, today we have something that is amazing to show what God has been doing. You remember the scripture in the Bible which says, if we're going to write everything that Jesus did, we're never going to have a book that we could handle. And if we all could actually get to a position of trying to write the miracles that only happened in 2023, volumes and volumes of books could have been written. The person that is listening to me right now from the front up to the overflow, and even people that are watching us online, they can attest that the Lord has visited them at some point in their life, and the God of this house has been faithful to all of us. Some of us have gotten contracts that we never thought we were ever going to get. Some of us, we received babies that we never thought we were ever going to have babies. Some of us, we have managed to receive life when we are on our death breath. But 
the hand of our Father came and snatched us out of the fire. And tonight is a night of celebration, Doctor, to celebrate what has happened for us this time. Indeed, men of God, it's a very exciting night, mm -hmm. and we know life has been preserved. Sure. And what I understand in this ministry mm -hmm. is that if someone is to go home to be with the Lord, mm -hmm. then it is the right time to go. Yeah, sure. Because we've got an, a watching eye, which is ever watching over us. Yeah, sure. And us being here, it's because so many things have been cancelled by the men of God. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we had a hard time, men of God, you know it selecting which testimony to present tonight. It was not an easy task because so many things have happened. But what we have done, people of God, is we've got a, a video compilation of various testimonies that we've presented to you over the course of the year. So media team, once you are ready, you can roll on with the, with the presentation. Thank you very much. So because the, the video will be running, we want you to just pay attention. Uh, if, you applaud, if you applaud, you might not necessarily hear what the video will be saying. So just keep calm, relax, and enjoy what you're going to watch. Thank you very much. The hands of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa mind-blowing miracles were witnessed in the year of the God beings. This unusual manifestation of the healing power of God left thousands upon thousands with amazing testimonies, which is a confirmation of the great and unique anointing that is upon the ministry of Prophet Immanuel Makandiwa. The man of God, Prophet Immanuel Makandiwa, has demonstrated the God nature in him, which dominates even the human nature in him, by performing many outstanding miracles each and every Sunday. People have come with various critical conditions, which were beyond any remedy, and many were staring at death with one foot into the grave. But owing to the grace and the healing power in the ministry, of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, their sorrow and pain was turned to healing and joy. As we close the year 2023, we celebrate and thank God for all these amazing creative miracles. Out of the numerous miracles that we have witnessed in the year of the God beings, the following are highlights of the great and marvelous works that God Almighty, through the hands of Prophet Immanuel Makandiwa, has done in the lives of many people who had various conditions. When patients come to the sick bay, we verify their conditions, whether they are really genuine. And when we then present these cases to Prophet Immanuel Makandiwa, we would have verified that indeed this is a genuine case. There are some cases, for example, the case of a lady who was in handcuffs, who was abusing drugs, who was now psychotic, who had now developed mental illness. You know, such a case is just serious. But our father calls for such cases. He actually calls for those critical cases. When I first saw Samantha in church, I was really baffled because this was a young lady who was in metallic handcuffs. Yeah. She cuts people whenever she gets weapons, she destroys windows, doors, everything. So to control her, the neighbor would watch in the area to keep her in the handcuffs. Then she had a left eye which was red, was blood short. I could tell we have a serious problem here. The condition had gotten beyond just drug addiction. She was now also psychotic. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure 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 what I'm saying. 
She was prayed for and she got uh, her instant healing. Medically, when someone has got a condition like this, it doesn't happen that instantly. Um, they have to take some medication, they have to introduce a lot of uh, drips to detoxify uh, the, the whole system, to clean it up so that they, they don't have the drugs uh, in their system. You know, with, with drug addiction, there are certain chemical changes which happen in the brain. Certain neurotransmitters, they get altered. That's why it's so difficult for one to just easily get out of addiction. What is amazing in this case is no rehabilitation was done. This person was healed instantly and she becomes normal. The whole system is clean and she goes back to the community as a normal person. To my surprise is she didn't go through any serious psychiatric uh, treatment to curb this illness. I would have thought, what, did she go through electroconvulsive therapy, which the psychiatrists give at times, where they have to shock the brain so that she's dissociated from her condition for some, from some time. But there was no record of that. A lot of issues were solved in Samanda. The issue of drug addiction, which we know is very difficult to treat, was when one is admitted in psychiatric units with drug addiction, they are admitted for many weeks, even months. And they are given antipsychotics, and they are also counseled many times, a process which we call rehabilitation. But with Samantha, this happened in just under one week. Because the next Sunday when we saw her, she no longer had handcuffs. She was calm in a chair and listening to the word of God. So we can see that indeed the grace of our Father is amazing. The cases of drug abuse as well as uh, mental health are currently increasing. They are increasing to such an extent that um, what, are, what is estimated in the world is that it is going to kill more people than uh, what cancer is doing uh, in, in the population. So um, in these cases, our prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prayed for a lot of cases of drug abuse, of psychiatric illnesses. We have a number of people that presented also in serious problems of addiction. Um, the latest case from Mutare, where the man of God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, again ministered to people that were struggling with various addictions, drugs, alcohol, even cigarette smoking. Uh, even over the years, long back, we have had people coming, uh, even people bringing just a bottle of alcohol to representing their relatives at home who would not, who would not have come but uh, coming back with testimonies that they would not even want to touch that bottle of alcohol which had come into the presence of God uh, where Prophet Emmanuel Makandua was ministering. So people of God, I am excited, I am surprised, I am happy at such a time where we are, where despite our country even facing these serious ad addictions affecting uh, the future of the nation, there is hope that if we can put our heads together as a nation, uh, we have a solution at hand through the administration of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa uh, for this uh, problem of drug and substance abuse to be kept in our nation. There's a young university student who had been struggling with acne for for years. Not only had she been treated locally, but she had also gone abroad, but the acne was not resolving. She was using various medications, including retinoic acid, which we know that it's teratogenic. It can result in someone giving birth to children with deformities. We even hear that while she was still at university, she was now contemplating suicide because of the 
debilitating condition that was affecting his skin. So there is no reason for me to leave because Monwesi are going the same. So Zaka Dipa Pungwa Zaka Wanda Zaka Shat, Kuti Kufa, Ninga Kutongwari Nani. What shocked me in this case was for a condition which many doctors have attempted to treat for years. And then a man of God never touches the lady, but just ministers healing to her. And then this acne just disappears. To me, it's, it's baffling to say, how does that happen? As a specialist physician, I didn't expect this acne to resolve within such a short space of time. Because normally we give various drugs, some oral and some topical, which a patient has to apply on the skin lesions. And even if after doing that, there are some scars which remain on that skin. But for this young lady, her skin quickly healed and it was so smooth within such a short time. So, Baga Namatriwa na Prophet Makandiwa, it took a few days. Tesita kato kano kato kato yuwe. Inga manato dini. Ato chinja, tarisa ifesi yake. Munueza kato shami sika. A disease that I had for 10 years, yaga piera within a week. There are things that we see happening in time. We see things happening in the now. And these are things that have already happened in eternity. God has done it. Sometimes the reason why you can't see it now, it is because of the nature of the now. You wait for time to reveal what He has already done outside of time. So, so sometimes the miracles that we perform are not necessarily the miracles that you see. It's not the actual miracle that you see happening that the power of God is doing. It is what we do with time. It is what we do with time. You can have something today which was meant for five years to come. As a medical doctor, I would expect uh, to see some scars, maybe some black scars on your skin to show that there were some wounds or there was acne on the skin. But surprisingly, she has got a smooth skin. This is amazing, people of God. Some people would suffer from acne for the rest of their lives and nothing will treat this acne. They will just learn to live with it. We now see even the young lady that her confidence had boomed. She was now happier, she was smiling, we could see the smile on her face. And I'm remembering again from years back a case of an elderly man who received his ministration and these are just parts, I would just probably say tip of the iceberg of people that have been delivered from different uh, diseases affecting their skin. Look at that. Generalized skin disease which looks like a fungal infection. I touched uh, this young boy. I didn't see him frown. I didn't see him even look aside to indicate that he was disgusted by the look and appearance of this child. But he had a look of empathy. Um, really, des you can see that the man was desiring to see this young boy delivered, and that's exactly what happened. 
by a mere touch. You didn't shake this boy, you didn't scratch him, you didn't ask for people to bath him, but he declared word and left him with an anointing of his touch. And we see this young boy coming with cleared skin. For such a severe case, you will need some medication. The medication that gets into the blood, the topical medications or the creams that you can use on the skin won't be enough. But we see this young man recovering. Uh, in a week's time, there was already a change. In two weeks time, we see that the skin was going to the normal texture. Um, as we saw the young man in the first place, the skin was now dark colored that we didn't even know that the, the skin of this young man is light colored and it has got a nice texture. So as the healing was taking place, the skin went back to normal, it was now light colored and it had a smooth um, appearance. Even um, on palpating or on touching the skin of the young man after the healing took place, it went back to the normal texture. Um, this is quite amazing, people of God. We do not expect, or let me say in the medical field, uh, I've never witnessed healing of a, of a rash at such a very fast rate. And there are also no medical explanations um, that can be tallied to what happened to this young man. Is this amazing case of a lady who was in a truck that was squashed by a lorry which was loaded with cement. You know, the picture on its own was so frightening. To think that anyone would come out alive from such an incident is really shocking. Because the distance from the ground to where the lorry was squashing a car was so small, yet there was a person inside there. And the shocking thing is, there was no blood nearby. And this lady, not only did she come out alive, but she had no fracture. The bones were spared. But we could visibly see that the metallic structure of the car, metals were squashed. But as for her, she was actually alive with intact bones. We know metals is stronger than bone, but for some reason, metal did bend, but her bones never broke. And in addition to that, not only was a lorry on top of her car, but this lorry was also loaded with cement. Indeed, this was a great miracle. This lady presented a church with a history of uh, having five miscarriages. She was now in the sixth pregnancy. And as she came to church, she was desperate for help. She has got a very sad story. She is 26 years old. And now she is in a sixth pregnancy, which is two months. She has, been, she has had five miscarriages. And as we speak now, she is bleeding. She is about to lose the sixth pregnancy. She needs your help, man of God. She couldn't do anything else because after losing the five uh, pregnancies, she got all the medical help that she could get. And then seeing herself bleeding for the sixth time, she knew that what happened in the five pregnancies was going to happen again in this sixth pregnancy. This was an inevitable miscarriage. Inevitable miscarriage, meaning nothing can stop this baby from coming out. We knew that it was too late. We see her being prayed for. The bleeding stopped instantly and the pregnancy progressed. And this woman went on to have um, a healthy baby. A lot happened uh, after that, beyond our medical expertise, also beyond our expectations as the medical personnel. Nothing can explain what happened to this woman except for a miracle. As we are digesting um, 
the profundity of the miracles that have happened by reason of the administration by the men of God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Um, it, it takes me back to the time when he declared that we are now in a season where just even not by touching anyone, but by decreeing a word, that word alone is going to cause something to be created. God has put us in a position where he performs more miracles. His miracles are spoken. This is the phase. God is putting us at a certain platform where words spoken immediately they crystallize they become tangible and they become experiences it's a season that you come to church all that you are hoping for is for a word to be spoken and that word become your experience it will no longer be church as usual, business as usual, where you come and you expect hands to be laid on you. No. You come, you sit, and you say, let him talk. You know everything said. That becomes your experience. It's a season. It's a season. No, no, there is no struggle there. If I come and I sit and the speaker says anything against cancer, you know I'm out. I go to church, I sit. If God is to make the speaker speak, Whatever is going to be said against my situation, the situation is corrected. We as medical doctors, we are so amazed at the operations of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. I remember one service where he called the spirit of death. The spirit of death that I know he is the voice of God. It was decreed a full time that this December will not pass. But there is a warrant of arrest. I am inviting the spirit of death from the overflow, from the main auditorium, Spirit of death, come here. He called the spirit of death, not the people, but we saw people going to the altar, but they were not walking in a normal way. No human being really walks like that. It seems they were being pulled to the altar not just from the auditorium, but even from the overflow. You know, when, when people die, they die from heart attacks, accidents, strokes, and here, death is being cancelled. And these conditions, which death probably was going to use, are also being cancelled at a level which Science can never explain. These are graveyards that you are seeing. But no more death. Death has been arrested. I speak over your body. Everyone who has attended this service today, you are free from death. I receive it. I speak life over everyone that has come. Death is being cancelled 
and these conditions which death probably was going to use are also being cancelled at a level which science can never explain. Because in science there is nothing like the spirit of death. But here we are seeing it happening. It's, it's, it's so amazing. So these people, after being delivered, when coming from the altar, they were actually surprised. How did we go to the altar? What also surprises me is that Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa ministers to conditions of various specialties, dermatological, affecting the skin, psychiatric, like the case of drug abuse and mental illness, obstetric and gynecological, like the case of a lady who had recurrent miscarriages. It's so amazing, you know, that all these cases get healed. I wonder, I always wonder. Ever since I started ministry, I don't remember one day. This, I will push it to you. There is not even a single day when the grace of God in my life was fully at its maximum discharged. It has never happened. There has never been any serious miracle in this ministry that you have seen before. God is about to show us things that have been hidden for ages. Thank Through you, the media hands team. hands of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Thank you, media team. We can give a round of applause. <laughs> Men of God, we have seen a lot of miracles this year. You can agree with me that indeed this year has been the year of God beings. We have seen the God nature in the man of God, which is more than the human nature in him. The God nature of him, like the narrator was saying, dominates. Um, what we were able to compile was just a few of the many, many miracles that he has, that he has presented and that he has done as the God being. You know, men of God, um, as we go into the new year, I'm sure we're going to continue bringing out testimonies from this year because there are so many. And you agree with me that there are some of the, miracle, some of the miracles that occurred. We, there were some miracles which we were itching to present which were so mind-blowing. I'll just give one example. If time comes, we'll present it. But it was very mind-blowing. There was a time when the man of God was talking about a new season. And he said, God is going to change even your DNA. You remember that? <laughs> that was in April. He said it here and he said it in Mutare. You remember we had a young lady who went for a blood checkup, and it was noted that her blood group had changed. And these things don't just happen. I know time will come for us to present it. But this is just a highlight of one of the many mind-blowing miracles, what we medically call the impossible. You can't change somebody's blood group. We know that. You are changing, literally changing the DNA. We've had so, it's one of the so many miracles. We've had so many healings from addictions. We've had so many who were on the deathbed, even fractured bones which were healed. We had people with stones in the kidneys, stones in the gallbladder, and we presented some of them here. And they would be ministered to. They go back, they have the scans. You do another scan, you notice that the stone which was there has disappeared. And you wonder, how does it disappear? Especially like it's a bladder stone. You ask them, did you pass it out in urine? Did you see it? They say no. And you, you go back to the scan, you notice that this stone was too big 
to just pass out. The person should have noticed it. But you end up just agreeing that this is done by only the power of God. Nothing else can do that. You know, you have said it well, Doctor, that indeed we witness the God side of our Father. And what we saw was mind-blowing. You know, even the small, the small videos that we shot today did not actually show the multitude or the number of testimonies which had actually come through. You know, on a daily basis, on a Sunday basis, on a, on a Thursday basis, every time that our Father would speak, would have a flood of testimonies coming through. And indeed, it was a struggle to pinpoint one testimony to come with and, and present it to people. And what then amazed me was him say that a portion, this is less than a 10%, 5% of what he can do, what his God can do. And he say, we have not started. And God is about to really show himself more now as we are about to go to the new place. So it actually got me astounded and astonished. I was baffled and bamboozled that if then, if we are seeing this, what, what, what more else should we see? Because such a manifestation of God, we have never seen it anywhere else. That's true. And, and it's happening in this place at such an amazing level that even professionals cannot comprehend. Mm. You know, I, I looked at how the hand was protecting people from accident. Mm. Even if you listen to how the doctor was explaining that, mm. there was no bone which was broken, yet the metal Absolutely. of the truck was mm. twisted. Yes to such an extent that people that were around, they didn't believe that a human being can come out of it. And the only human being that was qualified to come out of that place was a daughter of the prophet mm. because she was under the covering, yes. the cap of our father. Yes. Yes. And, and every day as we kept on seeing what God was doing, fear of celebration, was inside of us. You know, you get to a place where you now realize you, you can never get to a place where you get used to this form of manifestation of God because each and every time God was coming in a different form. And, and you then hear him saying that the season that we are now in is a season where he's just going to be speaking. And as he is declaring and as he's speaking, Miracles will be happening. Cancer will be disappearing. All forms of afflictions will be disappearing. You know, it's such an amazing season to be alive and to be experiencing God. Because I know people of old, they prayed for such a season. Yes. And they never witnessed it. Yes. But us who are here, we are in this place. God has given us a privilege to witness God firsthand, to be able to touch God firsthand, to be able to breathe in the same environment where the presence of God is firsthand, to be able to be affected by these miracles in our lives that even when we are sick and even before we are sick, we are healed by the grace that is upon our Father. And what a wonderful time. Indeed, man of God. To be in such a presence which can do amazing and formidable things. We are in for a wonderful year. 2024 I'm is expected. going to be mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're going to witness even greater miracles. Mm -hmm. Like he has said, we have seen nothing. Yeah, we have seen nothing. We have seen... I know this is everything to us, mm -hmm. but I'm taking it from him. Mm -hmm. He's saying, you haven't seen anything yet. Greater things are coming. People of God, this is our presentation of the miracles from 2023. 2024 is going to be your year. As long as you hear the man of God speaking, just grab it, just take that miracle, possess it, personalize it, and it will be yours.
You know, people of God, there's nothing more to say, people of God. As the man of God is coming, just know your miracle for 2024 has already come. He said, I'm bringing the new year to you. And already we are in the experience. Let's celebrate our Father, people of God. Let's celebrate our Father. Someone made it to this night because healing was brought down to them by this anointing. Let's celebrate Jesus for such powerful oh, yeah. testimony. Oh, yeah. And before we go any further, we had people that were watching us online. And uh, men of God and doctor, we have uh, Mimi here it says, wow, the costumes are on point. Before they received the testimonies, they were wowed by your costumes. We also have uh, Monica Muturuka, who's also watching us online, she says, wow, looking sharp to our pastors. But it was a powerful moment where we saw the hand of God through the great anointing of the great watchers give healing to people that were hopeless. We celebrate such a auspicious and momentous time that we had in 2023. Hope was alive. Yes, the year of the God beings. Thank you, Dr. Mtewe and Pastor Chris for making us appreciate, you know, when you see things happening, when Baba is praying for people, Baba has made us have an appreciation right. or, of how, how, what power is, what the power of God does. But when you then have doctors, or rather when you have doctors, physicians, um, specialists coming to show you the importance or what really happens it's not it's not something small so it gives you an appreciation of what it is that god is doing in our lives in this ministry under the anointing of the great woman and the great man of god prophet Emmanuel and ruth Emmanuel makandiwa oh yes we can give a big round of applause ladies and gentlemen if we look if you take a look at uh, the year 2023, a lot of things have taken place. There are many things that we can see as highlights. For me, it was at the HICC, the couples uh, seminar. How many of you liked the couples seminar? Wow, 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 wow. How many of you attended the couples seminar? Oh, oh, yeah. And you? You know, for me, it was the launch and birth of God Nation. First service, youth service, we had over 20,000. 20,000 youth gathered together mm. in this place. And youth activities have been happening all around the world. Oh, yes. Well, for me, it was the ladies' camp, the victorious ladies' camp meeting, as well as the glorious night. And victorious ladies. <laughs> Victorious ladies! What about the raffle draw? Oh yes, there was Some... a raffle draw. Did someone win something? Sorry? Did someone win something? Yes, they won. There were two vehicles, Honda Feet and Freezers and a lot of consolation prizes. Someone went driving yes. from the raffle ticket. Exactly. Come on, let's celebrate Victorious ladies. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They were... There were so many highlights throughout the year. Also, the Dubai trip. The FDS had a Dubai trip at, right at the end of the year. How many went to Dubai? For sure, for sure. We were in <laughs> Dubai, yes. We went, <laughs> we went to Dubai. If you were not there next year, make sure when there is another trip, you go there. Okay, uh, something to note for those who want to get married. Are there people who want to get married in 2024? We now have marriage officers in the house. We have Pastor Zula from Blawayo. Come on, let's give him a round of applause. We have Pastor Emmanuel Emmanuel from Marondera. We have Pastor 
Kumwenda, Pastor ZK, Pastor Z Kumwenda. We also have Pastor Nyakujiga, He's also oh. all the way from oh. Chinoy. I had I had forgotten, eh? Hey. So Ndoto Risk and Doto Chatis and is it? Uh-huh. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now it is it is heating up. We are now getting close to a moment whereby we will be dining on the heavenly table with the great men and women of God. Amen. And I can't wait. I don't know about you, but myself, I can't wait to receive from the hand of the prophet of God. A powerful time is coming. A powerful time is coming. And to prepare us for that, ladies and gentlemen, let's call upon the UFIC choir. Come on, let's give them a round of applause. A big round of applause to UFIC choir. Let us be on our feet, everybody. Are you there? Can you scream? I'm on the road. You can I just sat it as you know. I just sat it as it I'm on a Norawando, Yako Kundika, the Marie Way. I just sat it as she won't know. I just sat it as it's one. I'm on a Yako Kundika, the Marie Way. I just sat it as you were now. 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 Dorona muna amuna hey Dorona muna amuna Corona, 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 Corona,
Everybody, everybody. 
Come on, somebody make some big noise unto Jehovah God. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. In my entire life, never have I experienced a choir that can sing as this one. Let's give them a big round of applause once more. Ladies and gentlemen, it is heating up. Our viewers, I'm sure you're enjoying wherever you are connected from. And at this point in time, it's heating up. And we are going to be leaving this time. Very soon, Pastor Kufa will be coming on stage. And I will call upon the choir to give us just one more piece as we will be going on. Thank you so much.
like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. See His glory. Something's moving. Jesus, you are enough. Yeah. 
Lucky to you more. Yes, come on, more time. No one beats you. It remains the same. Everybody is lifted. Cancer will disappear. Fibroids disappear. Keep it counter with you. She was dependable. She knows. Talking a church of dependable Jesus. Hiya! No one meets you. It remains the same. Everybody is lifted. He didn't come to win you, Lord.
Yahweh. Come on, give him praise tonight. Give him praise. Give him praise tonight. Give him praise. Hey. Receive this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Accept this living sacrifice. I am. I have more than a song today. I brought myself. I am the sacrifice. I have more than a song today. I brought myself. I am your worship. I have more than a song. I have more than a song. Hey, today. Today. I brought myself, I am the sacrifice, I am more than a song, hey, hey. I am your worship, Lord Jesus receive, receive this living sacrifice, I am your worship. Jesus accept. Ah. I am your worship. I am your worship. Lord Jesus, we see. Receive this living sacrifice. Receive the sacrifice. I am your worship. Lord Jesus accept. I am your worship. I have more than a song. I have more than a song. Sing it. Yay! Today I brought myself. I brought myself. I am the sacrifice. I have more than a song. I brought myself, I am yours. Lord Jesus, receive this living sacrifice. I am your worship, I am your worship. Lord God, accept this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Lord Jesus, we see. Ah, I am it. Receive this sacrifice. I am your worship. Oh, say. Ah, this living sacrifice. I am your worship. Your worship. Sacrifice. I am your worship. Hey, I am your sacrifice. I am your worship. I am your, worship. I am your sacrifice. I am your, I am your worship. I am your worship. I am your sacrifice. I am your worship. I come to you tonight, oh God. I, I present myself to you tonight. Lord Jesus, receive me. I am, I am your worship. I am your sacrifice. I am your worship. I am your sacrifice. Lord, I am your worship. I am your sacrifice. 
Come on, worship him tonight. Worship his name tonight. Glorify his name tonight. There is no one like you. Jesus There is no one else like you In heaven and on earth ah! Master Jesus Katabayo Sipa hey, hey. There is no one else like you ah! whoa, 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 whoa. Master Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus, there is no one else like you in heaven and on earth, Lord, Master Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Oh Lord Jesus, 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 Jesus. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you in heaven and on earth. Ha -ha! There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Oh Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no one like you. No one like you, Lord. No one like you. In heaven and on earth, ah, so I will praise your name. I will praise your name, oh Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I will praise your name, praise your name, name, name. I will praise your name now and forevermore. Your name, worship your name. I will worship your name. Now and forevermore. I could not walk a intercession, Jesus. I could not walk a intercession, Jesus. I could not walk a intercession, Hakuna wakaita semi jeso Dashaya mwe ishe jeso Hakuna mwe Hakuna wakaita semi mwe Kudenga nepa nika Mambo jesu I will worship your name Master Jesus, 
Jesus. Raise your voice and worship him tonight and give him all the praise.
in this place. Ramasatana, let it flow, let it flow. Get Ramasata, let it flow, let it flow.
worship the King of Kings tonight. Set your gaze on Jesus. Set your gaze on Jesus. Father, forgive us if we take lightly what you do. Father, forgive us if we take lightly what you've done. You are a wonder to us. You're forever a wonder to us. Forgive us if we look like we take it lightly. We really don't, we really don't. You are a wonder to us. What you've done is a wonder to us, Jesus. We wouldn't be here without you. Oh. Wide-eyed and mystified, may we be just like a child, staring at the beauty of our King. Oh, may we never lose our wonder. May we never lose our wonder. Wide-eyed and mystified, may we be just like a child, staring at your beauty, oh Jesus. Oh. Fill us with wonder, God. We don't want to take you lightly, Jesus. May we never lose our wonder. May we never lose our wonder. May we never lose our wonder you are wondrous God may we never lose our wonder wide eyed wide eyed come on sing it with us wide eyed and mystified may we be just like a child staring at the beauty of our King wide eyed we are wonder wide eyed May we be just like a child staring at the beauty of our need. May we never lose our wonder. May we never lose our wonder. See what you have done for us, God. May we never lose our wonder. May we be forever. your gaze on the master come on set your gaze on him for you are beautiful in all your ways January to December oh God you are beautiful to me Jesus you are beautiful you are beautiful Just to set my gaze on you, you are beautiful to me. Wow. 
Hiko kutenda ndinako Musho kore Saka Diwane iwo mari Diwane iwo mari Wona iwo kutenda Kwa ndinako Embo tanga ime Nishwe Onda kapara mari Kutipa dexto maka Itira Shino ane Oh, my God. 
I receive, I receive, I receive. I want the tari say you won't marry. The tari say you won't marry. I want tari say you won't go no marry. Tari say you won't go no marry. The tari say you won't marry.
Oh, 
He deserves all the glory that can be given to him. He has been faithful as always. Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome a special group of people. We may take our seats for a while. We have in the house South Africa, Swaziland, Botswana, Mozambique, Zambia, the DRC, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, the Côte d'Ivoire, the United Kingdom, United States of America, Canada, India, Hungary, Poland, New Zealand, and Australia. Let us put our hands together for these wonderful people. And they are not all, ladies and gentlemen. We also have millions of viewers watching us online from all parts of the world. Let us put our hands together and welcome those as well. Now, tonight, or oh, this morning, we are now in the new year, right? I don't know what you are expecting, but this God is never disappointed. He gives you more than you expect, more than you can ever imagine. We have an amazing woman in our midst, The greatest thing about this is that she is not only amazing, but you and I have the privilege of calling her our very own mother. She is amazing to say the least a woman so full of love. Her love has touched many parts of the world. I have seen people that have taken to do what she does. But in her area, she remains the best. You can never compete with love. Doing what she does, you can do it, but you cannot compete with somebody who is doing it out of love. We are honored to be your sons and daughters, Mama. We are so proud of you, and we love you. We thank you the Lord for your life. Is that all we can do for this amazing woman?
And ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a man in this house. I have had so many people saying that there are too many men of God nowadays. Until I came across certain portions of scripture in 1 Kings and 2 Kings that opened my eyes. Those scriptures talk about a holy man of God. <laughs> Meaning... Meaning, yes, there are many men of God, but there is a character that distinguishes one out of the many. And it opened my eyes to why he is able to deliver so much. God is able to trust him not because he is only a man of God, but he is a holy man of God. This is why of all those men of God around the world, there is only one that saw what was about to happen to the world in the form of the COVID virus. One. He is a man of integrity, a man of high moral standards, a prophet not only by calling but by birth, a distinguished man of God. He is the one to minister to us tonight, this morning. I don't know what you're expecting God to do for you. But what I know is when he speaks, grab a word. When he speaks, make that your, your, your own word, a personal word. Don't worry about the thousands that are in here. Tell yourself he is speaking to me. I believe our lives are about to change. Help me to welcome the one and only Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Let us welcome him, let us welcome him, let us welcome him. Come on, put your hands together for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. You can do better than that. Lift up your voice, put your hands together. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Thank
Thank you so much. I would, I would like to say some few things. I can see that you are excited to be here this wonderful morning. Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy New Year. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's all take our seats just briefly. Allow me to take this opportunity and thank the entire family. Um, I felt it would be very, very necessary for me to even start off from that note. I would want to appreciate you the UFIC members for the love that you've shown, the appreciation, the celebrations that occurred in this place just a few days ago where you were celebrating a very special day to me. I would like to thank you so, so, so much for that. you made me feel so important. I felt it. Thank you so much. I really want to appreciate you for everything that you did. I know you love me and I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And also I would like to thank we have got uh, quite a big number of people that are so much committed to God's work in this ministry. You have been so dedicated from the beginning of last year right up to the end of last year. And um, I would like to appreciate you and thank you for your commitment and for your contributions, and you have allowed this ministry to be where it is today simply because of your loyalty. I would like to thank each and every one of you who has been serving in one way or the other in this ministry. Thank you. I appreciate you. I have a lot of uh, people to thank, but um, I don't want to be ministering for too long. You know, I'm used to 30 minutes, one hour. Um, things are changing. I would like to also appreciate my parents that are here for yes these people are so so dear to me I know what they went through There is a lot that I can say, but just allow me to appreciate them and if you can just stand on your feet, if it's okay with you, and appreciate my father and my mother for the great work. Tenda shukuru nebasa gurura kaitwa. 
We're so grateful for the great work that you have done. Whilst you are still standing, I know we have already given her a very special welcome. But one more time, appreciate, let's appreciate our mother. She's, she, she's, she's a miracle, miracle to me. I know I'm tempted to say a lot, but the Lord will help me overcome that temptation. But thank you so much, my dear, my love. Uh, she's also the reason why I'm standing today. Yes. Those words are loaded. There is a lot. She's the reason why I'm standing here today. Ministering to the crowd is one thing, but ministering to the minister, it is another. So, for such a great work, I salute you, my dear. And uh, and I would like to also thank my father in the Lord, my spiritual father. The great, great prophet of God. Ah. I would like to appreciate him for the care, the love, the prayers, counsel, advice, you name it. He's there for me 24 7. <laughs> Prophet Victor Kusibuate, I would like to appreciate him and I would like to send my gratitude to him. Help me to appreciate him and to salute the great man of God for such a great work that he has done. I know everyone here is very, very special. I wish I could come down and give each and every one of you a hug. You are so dear, so special, so important. There is a reason why I would want to thank you. This is the reason. This is not the only ministry that you know. This is not the only gathering that you know. This is not the only church. But you carefully chose this one. And I have to appreciate you for that because that decision was not a one-day decision. You chose the ministry the first time that you chose it and you kept on choosing the same ministry despite despite you have, you have been through a lot and you have had a lot and yet still this is your ministry. 
And I don't take that lightly. I want to appreciate you for even being a member of this ministry. It means a lot to me, and I believe it also means a lot to the Lord, and it means a lot even to you. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate you. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord keep you. You may be seated. I'll keep on pointing out things that I'm grateful for. And I won't be tired because I'm so happy for what I've seen the Lord do through some of you people here. Things that I'm not even in a position to mention, especially from this position, but there is a lot that I can say. But I will have more time to do so. But there's a reason why we needed to gather tonight. It's, there is something bigger than just a celebration. This is not just a cultural practice. We have come here today. We came here last year and until this year we are here. There is a reason for that. We would want to know the plans that he has for us. You heard the Lord in the book of Jeremiah saying that I know the plans. Yes, it's one thing for the Lord to know. And it is yet another thing for us to know. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts, another translation says, the plans that I have towards you. God knows, God has a plan, God has a strategy. And he knows it. And it gives us motive knowing what God knows. If I am to know what he knows, the plan that he has for me, if there is a chance for me to know, I would grab that chance with both hands. Because now, myself and God, we now know the plan. You need to understand this morning that this year, according to God, especially with regards to you, it's a very strategic year. Very strategic. Very, very strategic. Now you saw the theme. The theme. Let's have it on the screen, please. You saw the theme. <clears throat> Can someone read for me, please? I would want to. 
get from you. Year of the armor of light. Romans 13 verse 12. Hmm. Can someone, someone else read for me, please? The Maybe year all of, of the armor of light. Ah, okay. Another one? Year of the armor of light. The what? The year of the armor of light. Okay. So let's read from verse 11 so that you have the context of the text. Verse 12, of course, is our main focus, which is our theme scripture. But verse number 11, then we get to 12. Time allowing, we might get to 13. Let's all stand for the reading of the word. The book of Romans chapter 13 from verse 11 and 12. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. You may be seated. It has not been easy for me to understand what the Lord was showing me. I would have loved to let you know that it was so simple. It was so easy, but it wasn't. It wasn't easy. It was so difficult, so challenging, so heavy for me to be able to interpret the things that the Lord himself allowed me to see. There are things that you see and there are things that you hear. And then you sit back and you wait upon the Lord for clarity. What is this? Which is the reason why you see prophets in the Bible God would reveal, God would show them visions. And then God would ask the prophet, what is it that you are seeing? And then you would hear a prophet saying, I'm seeing an almond tree. And God would then confirm you have seen well, so shall my word be. So it is one thing to see, it is yet another to understand. It's one thing to see. Why is it that God is aware that 
what he's showing you is a vision. And he's asking you, what are you seeing? God seems to be so sure that you are seeing something. But he wants to hear, he wants to know what is it that you are seeing. And then the prophet says, I'm seeing a rod of an almond tree. Of an almond tree. And God said, Then said the Lord unto him, Thou hast well seen. Well seen. There is a well seeing in the spirit. Seeing well. Where you see well. <laughs> and God himself had to verify. God himself had to confirm to the prophet that this kind of sight is well. You have seen well. It's correct. That's exactly the vision that I've sent and you have confirmed it. That's it. You have seen well. A lot of things have been said concerning this year by many prophets. I'm not in any position to judge. But I would want us to consider some few things. Um, How, how do you come up with a theme like that, with a scripture like that? Sometimes when you ask the Lord for what is coming, you have certain things that you wish you could see. So before you are given a vision, you already have your own vision. You have things that you would want to see. But God being God, God being God. Now, I think by now you know that I'm not a prophet of doom. I will avoid saying a lot of things today. Things that might be considered as prophecy. Because people would want everything that I say to be prophecy. I don't know why. There are times that I am aware that I'm not prophesying. But given the nature of this service, you have to be careful. Whatever you say might be considered what? 
prophecy. So, in a nutshell, I will just show you something which is the reason why God had to give us this theme. So without getting into a lot of details, I want you to understand, child of God, that um, God cannot be leading us into a path of light unless there is some kind of darkness that is coming. We have very dark days ahead of us. I know because it is not the kind of darkness that he taught me. It is the kind of darkness that I experienced. He allowed me to walk into it. I felt it. I touched it. And it was dark. Dark. Very, very dark. You know, it can be so dark that <laughs> that darkness cannot even allow you to think of anything else except darkness. And you begin to ask the Lord, is this a death experience? Am I still alive? Am I buried? Am I in a grave? No, you are, you are within a time frame. It's not a grave. It's a year. You know me, I would have loved something else so that you can jump and, and dance a bit. <clears throat> you know, there was a time when there was such a darkness in Egypt and it was recorded in the most important book the Bible, but there was never such a darkness like the darkness of that nature. But I needed an answer from the Lord because I know God to be light. He is light. And I'm there covered in darkness. Surrounded with darkness like you are. Surrounded with wool. You know I'm talking of darkness which is in wool form. The cotton. The lint of darkness and you are there and whilst you are there 
you are reminded by the Lord that God himself is light. And before the beginning of everything, there was once such darkness before. And he said what? Let there be light. And what happened? And there was light. And there was light. Do you know that if you are to read other prophets in the Bible, there was a prophet who even prophesied that there was, there's going to be a darkness which is gross darkness which shall cover the earth. Isaiah 16. It's all right. It's all right. Let's not go there for now. I want to focus on just the book of Romans. What I saw there, you wonder, is there life here? But notice, I'm not going to say a lot of things that were said in between. At the end of the conversation, because I don't come out of such a situation without asking the Lord for mercy. Where is your grace in this? We all wish things would be right, things would be okay. There is even the reason why I said I'm not going to be preaching for too long. There is a reason for that. But hear this. I saw individuals. They were not f few. They were many. In that darkness that were glowing. So you need to understand sometimes as a prophet, is this, is this my experience or it is the experience of the nation or it is the experience of nations? It would take you time, even as a seasoned prophet, to understand a very simple experience that God is giving you. Is this personal? Is this for somebody else? Is this for the nation? Is this for... Remember some few days ago, I said there is a shaking that is coming and... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 uh. How many interpretations? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why, but these are things that are already there in the Bible. Remember God said, I will shake the earth even the heavens. Okay, that one we'll talk about it. Let's focus on the theme. Let's focus on the theme. So he, it became so clear to me that this scripture that you've seen over there, that one, my understanding of that was this is going to be the only weapon effective in 2024 
light. And the light that is going to save you, my sister, there, my brother, <laughs> the nature of light that is going to deliver you from what is coming is the light that is in an armor form. <laughs> and this light is to be put on We are given an attire, a dress code by God. And many without this garment. might not celebrate the end of this year. It's a requirement for your survival. Your life depends on this light. This is not just a light. It's an armor. <laughs> An armor is not only a clothing or a garment that you can put on. An armor can also be a weapon. That's what the Bible talks about. Put on the whole armor of God. An armor is a weapon. But here comes the question, how then do you put on a weapon? So it's a light that can fight. It's a light that you put on as a garment. And at the same time, it is a weapon. A weapon of light that you put on. A weapon of light that you put on. And then you are covered In that light, the light that is able to fight, a light that is instrumental, you will not survive based on what you are holding in your hand. You will not survive based on your academics. It's not what is in your head that will give you a decent life. It is what you are putting on. The armor of light. You will see. You might not hear what I'm saying today. But you will see as we get into the air, even non-believers, people that have no interest in 
the things of God, the church, they will, they will soon realize that they are desperately in need of this only one solution that God has provided for mankind to survive this light. I will tell you, of course, what it is. You will get to know what it is. But you need to understand the armor part. When what you are putting on is in the category of weapons, when what you are putting on is in the category of weapons, it's like a camouflage. When a soldier puts on a camouflage, it helps him disappear into the woods. So what he's putting on has also become a weapon. It's no longer a dress code. It's no longer an attire. What he's putting on is considered a weapon. You need this this year. You, you need this armor. This year, you need it. You need it. They might think it's just like ah, uh, just like another crossover, but soon they'll be trying to. Some will try to even call and say, what is it about that thing? Because that will be the only way out. Talk to us about that thing. What, what were you saying about light, light, light? Because that is going to be the only thing. <laughs> I saw individuals, not few, but many. Many. Okay, let's analyze that just for a moment. Why is he saying that the night is fast spent? He started off saying our salvation is nearer, closer than when we first believed. What is he talking about? Our salvation, I, I, I thought we got born again that time. What are you talking about? What is in the era now? He's talking of the completion of salvation. What was initiated, what was started. Now he's talking of a certain dispensation that is fast approaching. Yet we believed then And we got saved then. But he's talking of salvation that is near. Huh. Ah. Then he goes on to talk about the night. The night. But then he's saying, I, I, I like the way that he's, he puts it. He's saying it is fast spent. He's not, he's, he's not, he's telling us of the darkness that is now coming to an end. Not the beginning of it. But he's saying, the night is far spent. Then hear what he's about to say. The day is at hand. When the day is at hand, it is now within reach. The day, the day has come. 
what day. I know we are quick to rush to the second coming and the rapture and the, the, the but let's 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 analyze this. Let's analyze this uh, well. If that's true, what Paul is saying, that the night is fast spent and the day is at hand, why then say, now put on the armor of light? You, you have just told me that the night is over and the day has come. Why now put on light? Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let put us on. put on the armor of light. I will talk about that part soon. Casting the works of darkness and putting on the armor of light. If the night is gone, it's daytime. That's the time that we start switching off our lights. Mm -hmm. Not switching it on. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mm. What are you saying? Mm. What are you saying? How do I put on light when it's now day? The night is gone. <laughs> when they say peace, peace, then there shall be destruction. When they say light has come, hope has come, it's time for you to put on the light. First Thessalonians 5. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Few of you that are standing, you can sit. You can see it. What he is saying here is prophetic. He is not saying now that the night is over, the day has come, now just put on light as in, in the night and in the day that we know them to be. No. What Paul is saying is this night this night that he's saying is now fast spent. The desire of the night was to continue. It's a kind of darkness that is supposed to be here forever. The coming of the day is not the coming of the day. It is the putting on of light. The putting on of light 
that will bring your night to an end. The light that you will put on this year and it is by that light that you declare that night is far spent. It is by that light that your miseries will end. Why would he advise you to put on light seeing the day is already coming? He's telling you the nature of the day. It is not the day as you know it to be. It is that time that you are advised by the prophet to arise and shine. You can only do so when you have realized that my night has now become endless. The desire of your night is to continue. You have a darkness that followed you from <laughs> 19 what? The day you were born until now. Celebrating New Year after New Year after New Year after New Year. Yet your night is far from being spent. And instead of waiting for the sun to arise, the Lord is saying, you'll have to arise yourself and shine. You will do things this year. This, it's, not that, it's not that year that you come to church to witness a man or a woman of God being used by God. No. This is the year that you have to carry the torch, the mantle. <laughs> Hear me. You will have a uh, an unusual grace upon your life that will frustrate the night. Darkness. Darkness. I'm just showing you a very simple text. If the night was already far spent and the day is at hand, if that's the case, why should I then put on light. It calls for the prophetic eye to critically look at that text. You will realize that the intention of the night was to continue. The intention of 2023 was to continue. But someone here will make a decision. And that decision is going to put an end to the night. The decision requires that you put on light. 
Your hunger from now should be, prophet, talk to us about that light. What kind of light is that? A light that can put an end to the darkness. So that the more the darkness, the brighter the light. When you hear an announcement from a man of God that darkness has come, it's an announcement that an opportunity for the light to shine has come. Now, now, it is because of the nature of darkness that we are going to have in this year that your light will shine and they will notice you. <laughs> Hear me. Sit down, 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 sit down. What is it about the casting away of the works of darkness? This Light has the ability to chase away, to cast away works of darkness. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. This is the first sign that you begin to see. As the day approaches, you will know my day has come. When the light begins to temper with works of darkness, what was done even behind the scenes? You cannot be where you are today unless there is a work. Get a job all you want. Get education all you want. You will still come here. I will tell you as a prophet who knows both. That unless a work is identified and is put to an end, There can never be celebration in your life. A work that we were not able to identify, a work of darkness that even sharpest prophets missed. Hands were laid on you, and yet a certain work was never stopped. There was a work of darkness. He's not just talking of sins that are committed in darkness. No, we're talking of this. There is a work that can be cast. And it's, the, the light is so bright that I don't even want to start it now. I don't want to... You, you should know what I'm going through now to contain the package, what God has for us this year. You, you, you have no idea. The night is fast spent. Now hear this. I want you to follow this. Uh -huh. The day is at hand. Uh -huh. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And then we? And let us put on the armor of light. He's not saying after the works of darkness are 
cast out, then you put on. He's just, <laughs> the order there is you, pu you are putting on light. And it is by that light that works are cast out. This is the kind of light that if you study the life of Jesus, child of God, you know, you can show me in your Bible. Where Jesus delivered a man who had a legion of demons. It's there in your book, but you can never show me where he prayed for the men. It was simply the arrival of light. And the rest of what you see there is a dialogue. It's a conversation. There's no prayer. There is no our Father which art in heaven there. And yet a demon, 6,000, were cast out. I told you some few days ago that when he arrived, Jesus, in Capernaum, the Bible declares the people that sat in darkness saw the light. Matthew 4, 16. You will go back to your village and they will see the light. This issue of accusing each other. Who did that? Who is responsible? Is it my father? Is it my mother? Is it my grandpa? Is it you don't you don't need to do no light? You will not point your finger at any witch. This kind of light that I'm talking about, they, they will personally talk to you about it. They will confess to you. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. You have things that you prayed for. Fasted. How many times? You have forgotten. You now, you have no idea. What else am I supposed to do to put an end to this darkness? Now, our uniform has come. <laughs> you, you are being baptized into a dimension. And in that dimension, child of God, beginning now. Don't say what you don't want to see. You say it, you see it. You say it, you see it. You will wake up in the morning, you open your mouth, you utter a statement. You call for the rains. Before you close your mouth, rain is on the way. 
you open your mouth, you declare success. Before you shut your mouth, success is on the way. I'm talking about what you're going to see happening by reason of the light that is in an armor form. When you fight by light and you speak by light, you walk by light. Now, you notice that <laughs> it is by light that you get contracts. It is by light. It's not by... Oh. I will explain to you the armor, the nature of the light. When light is now usable as a weapon, When you win battles by light. Mm, mm, mm. You get victories by light. Ah. So you think. <laughs> count your children. No. Count them. C count them. None of them will suffer any affliction that you suffered. None. None. I speak this even by that light. This night that you endured It will be a story to your kids. It's a night that is far spent. What is at hand right now, what I can see as a prophet in the hands of your children is the day. The day. The day, not the night, the day. We have kids. We have children that are going to inherit light from their mothers. Light from their fathers. I stand here declaring this, that my kids will shine. What kind of light is that? It doesn't only shine. It's an armor. I will teach you things. I will teach you misika Teach you mischief. What, what I will teach you 2024? I will teach you kushereketa. I'll teach you to do shenanigans. You realize that it's a weapon that we have never used before. We talked about light before. The other light that defines. Not this one. This one is an armor. It's an armor. Oh, sit down, child of God. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Ah. Ah. Now.
Why is it that it appears as though the devil still has power? Yet we know more than 2,000 years ago even all power was taken away from him. And Jesus came back and we know him to be truthful. And he says, all power is given unto me. But how come it appears as if he still has the power? You might also need to understand something that also happened just so that you know does he really have the power or what, what is he using now? If the power that he had over your life was taken away, what is it that he is using against you? What is that thing which is no longer in form of power? Because all along, we have been praying against the power of the devil over our lives. Ah. And yet all power was given to him, Jesus. So what is the devil using against you, against your destiny? Yes, he's acting as though he still has the power over you. But if you study your Bible, I like uh, the story that I once read some time ago of a prophet who gave an instruction to the king of Israel by the name Saul. Go and kill Amalek. Destroy utterly destroy everything. Everything. And he went there and he spared some of the sheep, some of the oxen, and also even Agag, the king. And the prophet came and he said, why have you done so? Because you have disobeyed the commandment of the Lord. God has also rejected you from being king of Israel and the prophet as he turned and he was walking away from Saul Saul then went and he got hold of the skate the garment, the Bible says, the mantle of prophet Samuel. And he tore it. And the prophet turned back and he said, the same way that you have divided my garment, this kingdom has been divided. It has been torn from you you are no longer king. Your kingdom has been taken away and it has been given to your neighbor who is better than you. Saul had no idea There is so much to learn from this drama. You hold a mantle. You tore a mantle. You mess with a mantle. It will reflect in the kingdom. You mess with the mantle. The mantle messes with your kingdom.
From that moment, Israel was divided. The kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. But I wanted to get something, something very, very important there. Something very important. This is going to help most people understand how to deal with mantles. There are things in your life that you should never tell. Things that you should never tear apart. Things that you should never cut asunder. Because it is never the thing that you cut. It is what the thing can then cut. Now, follow this. Follow this. I, want to, I just want to show you something because you are asking, but it seems as if the devil still has power over my life. It was from that day that Saul said to Samuel, I've sinned before God, but please just honor me before the elders and before these people and also go with me so that I can worship the Lord. It was so clear to Saul that he could not even have access to God unless Samuel leads him. He's even begging the prophet to allow him to worship God. Ah, it's, it's there. He's seeking permission from the prophet as the king of Israel. Let me just, okay, now just allow me to even worship God. So, if you look at that, you'll notice when <laughs> he started asking for honor, just to honor me before the people. From that day, the prophet turned his back and he went to Ramah and Saul also went to Gibeah, mm. his homestead. From that day, the Bible declares, from that day, they never met again. Samuel never came again to Saul to and talk Seth. to him. But what I want us to see is that The day that the prophet declared to the king of Israel that you are no longer king, he continued. The next chapter, you even hear of God telling the prophet to go and anoint David. And Samuel anoint, went and he anointed David to be king. But when God said to Samuel, go and anoint David. Go and anoint a man. Go to Jesus' house and the man that I will name, you will anoint. He even said to God, Samuel the prophet said to God, if Saul hears that <laughs> I've gone to anoint, he's going to kill me. He's a prophet who is now being careful. He can no longer freely exercise his duties. He fears a man that he, ra he raised. It was Samuel who anointed Saul who was looking for donkeys to be king. But now he has to be careful. If he knows that this is what I have done, he is going to, he has the potential, he has the capacity, he has that in his mind to even go as far as killing me. And God did not say he can never kill you. He said, okay, let's have a plan. Carry a goat and you say, I have come for a sacrifice. God himself and a goat had to die for no reason. There was no sacrifice there.
And that strategy is even coming from God so that his own prophet is not what? Killed. What am I saying? I'm showing you something so, just to explain the power that you think the devil still has. Saul <coughs> continued. You remember, even the time that now an evil spirit was coming and troubling Saul, they had to go and bring David to come and play the harp. Right? It, went, it, it goes as far as even the time that Goliath came out. Saul was still king. But when was it said that he is no longer? Long time ago. That's the same way the devil is still seated on his throne. More than 2,000 years ago, it was declared all power was taken away from him. He is reigning now using what? Are you following this? You know, as this year progresses, that you are now dealing with a different devil. You now have an understanding of your enemy. And things that you are going to be able to do now. This is the kind of knowledge <laughs> that the devil ne what never wanted you to hear or to know. Some of us, because we search matters, You know, when it happened between Samuel and Saul, probably, maybe it was just the two of them. Maybe not many people really witnessed what happened. How he tore the garment of the prophet. And then what was said by the prophet. No one got to hear that. So they continued believing that they still have a king. But Saul himself knew the prophet knew, God himself knew. Are you following this? So this is the period that the devil is having. He knows what has been said in that private meeting. When Jesus went down to the heart of the earth after his, his death, during his death, rather. There was a meeting that we know nothing about. That is why we still think that the devil is still reigning. In that private meeting, it was declared that your kingdom has come to an end. You shall no longer reign over my people. Now, the devil knows that you were not there. You still salute him today. Yes, as the God of this world. But now I'm telling you what happened, what transpired. So that you will know exactly what is happening in your life. The power that you thought the devil had, I'll show you what it is. And you will know how to deal with, with that. Why would you need a light as an armor? It means this year there is a serious fight. Serious. Sit down, child of God. Sit down. <laughs> this year is for fighters. <laughs> fighters, you have to know how to fight. 
This idea of being disturbed by gossip. Just talking about me, but not actually touching me. We are talking of real fight. Real fight. Now that I know that the devil would have wanted to continue in this path. I can, we can, we, we have that grace that God has made available already that can help us achieve anything. Anything. Right now I'm looking, I'm trying to see what is impossible. What is it that God cannot do? You can't find it because he has done everything already. What we need to do now is to make the night expire. It is not the sun nor the moon that we have to wait for. I've been given that responsibility to shine. Mm -hmm. It is now upon me to decide when. So it's not the end of the night to everyone, no, but to those individuals who are ready to put on the armor of light, their night is coming to an end this year. You are having a problem in your life that I can guarantee you as long as you will live. Out, as you come out of this year, it's a problem that you will never pray for, pray against. You will never mention it again in your life. Unless in a testimony. Never again. Never again unless you are testifying. Never again. We have that grace to put an end to the night. Amen. Amen. We know how to make use of light. <laughs> A child of God can be sorted, can be prepared, that's why you see when Samuel arrived before he even anointed David as king, he sanctified the sons of Jesse. Sota. Preparing. Gadzirisa. Sanctification. <laughs> just, just, just let them try to touch you this way. Don't be quick to intimidate them. Hey, hey, don't touch me. Don't touch them. They are anointed. No, no. Let them touch. Because even you, you also want to see. Because you don't know. You have things about you that you know nothing about. They will experience an armor. Armor. There is that sharing of a mantle. I'm not talking about something that I've not seen. No. Some of you, what you're getting, it's an already used weapon. 
It's a weapon that I've been using personally for years. Yes. Some of you, <laughs> it's not something that you, ah. What do you think kept me? What do you think kept me? I have more enemies than you. Remember. Remember. I have more people wishing me dead than you. So when I come to church, I'm not only coming to give you the word. I'm not only coming to give you a message. No. You come for mantles. I'm telling you. Now, remember. Remember what I said. I said this is the moment when sons that know exactly what they are here for will inherit light. Why would, I, why would I trust a weapon that I've never tested, that I've never proven? So this is not something that you, we, we are not just, we, it's, it's not, it's beyond, it's not even, now, you know your, you, you know your auntie, you, you, know, you know your grandfather, who is a warlock, a wizard. You know him. So before you come here and you get an inheritance of that light, advise your, 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 your grandfather to touch me. Before you inherit it, Why? Because our night, some of us, has been fast spent. What we now have in our hand is the day. The day. We have a day in our hands. That's what we have in our hands. The day. Not, not darkness. The day. Not night. We have the day. If I have the day in my hand, I can share it. I can give it to the next generation. The day is at hand. It's at hand. Sit down, please. You have to be determined this year. So far, you have been noticing a chain, a cycle. You know something wrong is about to happen again. What you see happening in all of these economies of the world, it's a manifestation of darkness. And no economist can resolve it, can correct it. Only light. So, what does it mean then? Where you are going to face defeat is when you are confronted with a situation that you know nothing about. You will be hit so hard in areas that you are ignorant. You must, from the beginning of the year now, seek to know. Okay. 
any area, whether you're going to invest your money in, any, in anything, seek to know, seek to understand that area. Put all you have into that area. Be as aggressive as, 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 as a, a rhino. A rhino. A rhino. If you have been to some of these uh, uh, game parks, <laughs> even the tour guide do tell you. At some point we went out and he said, today what, you, what would you want to say? I said, <laughs> some of us were not even here. I was forced by some of the people that I, they wanted to see animals. I said, there's nothing, I've been seeing animals <laughs> from childhood. So I, I had to also join. But as we were going, he said, when we see rhinos, a, a rhinoceros, unlike any of these other animals, you see an elephant, that one is, that's an elephant, that's an, that one is moves, it's, it's move, it moves along, it means there's a, there's a problem, but when we, but he says when that one, when we see it, it is, it, it's, it's angry. <laughs> it's already, you see it, it's already, it's coming, you know it. You see a rhino, it's coming to you. What have we done? Nothing. It's coming. <laughs> you have to, once you have acquired enough knowledge, which is enough light, you have to charge. You have to charge. <laughs> you have to charge. The devil is supposed to know from now that you are coming. No more running but coming. Yes, you look at it, you can see that this is what the devil has done. And you let him know that I've noticed. I've seen it. There is not even a single demon that has afflicted you, that will not receive a punishment. <laughs> we have it. The grace God has made it available to us to cause things to happen. Yeah. We can put an end to your night even now. So possible. When that happens, you then have to put on the same light that was used to deliver you from your night. You have to put it on. You have to put it on. If that light is going to come in form of knowledge, seek knowledge. You, the way that you are going to Study the word this year. It has to be very aggressive. And two people start to question, is everything okay? You have to go for knowledge, go for light. I know, we'll get to that point where we talk about the light being Christ himself. Putting on Christ. The next verse talks about putting on Christ. We'll get to that. But hear me, the light that you already know, that knowledge, you have to consume the word this year like never before. So the year has started and you need to have a program. I'm not going to tell you 
How many days to fast? How many hours to fast? But I'm going to come back here and ask you in February. I'm going to ask you. I, 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 I promise you I'm going to do this. I'm going to ask you, what did you do? I want to know the things that the Holy Spirit is telling you. Even me, I also want to learn. What is God, what is God saying? What is he telling you to do? What is the Holy Spirit saying to you? How many hours is he telling you to pray? How many days is he telling you to fast? I want to also hear that. I'll ask you. I'll just, I'll come here like this. And that is going to be the entire service. Then even yourself, you will know that you were, you were never serious. This matter of success, we talk about deliverance, we talk about breakthrough, divine favor, we talk about all these things. You are not that serious. I really want to know yeah. Yeah. how serious yeah. are you. Yeah. Then we start our year. We start our year. Any proper investor, if you are asking for money from, he's going to ask you how much have you invested yourself into your own idea. All of these men of God, they've been fasting for you, praying for you. Let's see. Let's see. How far you are willing to go with your own case. Let's see. Let's see. It's an armor. <laughs> it's not a teaspoon. It's an armor. Yes. You see how some of you are going to shine. And some of you will struggle in darkness. How is it that you can have a man? There is someone under the sun. To think that there is someone under the sun. Who has got, I don't know how many houses. I don't know how many houses here. Yet that someone can leave all of his houses, he can spend a night in the forest and he's praying. A homeless man like yourself. <laughs> you stay in the house that does not belong to you. There is someone with how many refrigerators? Every room there is a fridge. In every bedroom there's a fridge. In every bedroom there is a television, yet he is watching. He doesn't understand, he doesn't know movies. You walk into his pantry, you get you are lost. Yet the man is fasting. You have allowed your darkness to continue. You are the biggest problem in your life. You have supported the devil in attacking you and in destroying your family. We have to beg you to fast. We have to ask you to pray. You need an armor. You need an armor. You need an armor.
there came a time I said no to the devil. And we had to make it a point. You see? There are agreements. It's not a covenant. There are agreements. The devil has to agree to certain discussions. <laughs> you touch me, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect you. There is something that we wear. There is another, you know, if you were to ask some of these people that are into uh, uh, occultic powers, they do rituals and so what They understand the language of light. If he's to walk into your room, not when you are praying, but when you are shining. Shining is what you do 24 7. Every time they tried and they failed, it was because of light. You have no idea. You have no idea. It, the devil has tried several times. You know, when you know that right now, there's a time that you really know that now we are God. The, the, we are no longer in control of the vehicle. You know that it, this is it. It's over. Those are the moments when the armor comes in. you will be given testimonies that only light can explain. Mm. Only light can explain. Ah. <laughs> to continue. And allow the night to continue. So if you're going to, if things are going to be worse and worse and worse and worse. You know, during your search as a prophet, you also, there are times when you want to even know from God what is that one saying? What are, what are other, even other prophets, what are they saying? It's, it's all over internet. And people seem to really enjoy prophesying about Zimbabwe. Now, I don't know what, is, what it is with Zimbabwe. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Child of God, the decision, we make it here. How things are going to go. Yeah. It's not decided up there. Yeah. Yeah. Hear me. We want to put on an armor that within a few months, you don't need to, you, you won't look at anyone that you can then blame. You know you have what it takes to succeed in life. When these people created the, the aircraft, they realized that gravity is, in, is never going to retire anytime soon. Let's design something. Thank you. 
It doesn't matter there is a force pulling everything to the ground. Let's have something that can soar. You'll see that when that decision is made, when people have decided and they are all being led by the Spirit, not being coached to pray, not being forced, you, are, you listen to the voice of the Spirit and you do what He tells you to do. From that moment, you begin to see battles that you used to fight and lose. Ah. You will watch, you arrive, yet God would have told you where you are going, there is an army waiting for you and you arrive, there is no one. And you say, so was it a lie? No, it wasn't. It's a light that knows how to cast away the works of darkness. Why join the rest when they say, ah, and you believe that? These days, young guys no longer marry. And you believe that? There are no longer any proper women. Who made proper women to be proper? Because you now know you have what it takes to make a home. <laughs> to think right now you can, some of you at your age, university. For you to think that you might want to enroll it for university at this point. It don't go to all you can do is believe in this message I'm giving you of light. I would want you people to take these teachings seriously this year. I don't know what you can do, even you pastors. I've said a lot that needs to be regurgitated. A lot always remind people so that this light, we want this light to quickly shine before it's too late. If you belong to any WhatsApp group and there is no Bible discussion there, <laughs> make a decision this January. You don't belong there. Entertain conversations that promote light, knowledge, understanding. What do I do myself? I've got hours that I spend in prayer, but before I allow my eye to see sleep, I make sure every night, not less than three hours of answering questions, mm. entertaining questions and answering questions. They are coming from every direction. You don't need people to be asking you questions. Your life mm. is full of questions. <laughs> don't allow yourself to find rest until questions are answered. Mm. Why this? Why that? You cannot keep on asking the same question, why me, why me? When are you going to get the answer? Why you? And in the process, you sleep. That's why you. <laughs> it can happen to everyone else, but not me. I have discovered the truth. 
there is a light that works like an armor that you put on and it fights battles. And the night will be fast spent. Not because the night is fast spent. But because someone has made a decision tonight to say, I'm going to put on. Do you know conversations that I've been telling myself, apart from the grace of, there's the grace of God, of course, but, you know, I've been telling myself ever since, when I saw what I saw, and it was so clear to me, that God wants me to serve him in ministry. The conversation has always been not anything ordinary. And I went as far as saying, even the people that will believe in my mandate cannot be ordinary people. <laughs> Look at what you have survived. Even before you knew this. How about now? How about now? As it gets darker and darker, whether economically, that's the time that I would demand that you acquire land. I would demand. <laughs> the same way, if a prophet tells you to fast and you fast, if a prophet says, let's pray for one hour and you pray for one hour, the same prophet can tell you to acquire and you acquire. an instruction like that. Like I'm already giving it now. Thank you, Father. There is a reason. I told you some years back about when disaster was coming. Mm -hmm. The darkest moment in Israel. Captivity was coming. That's the time God told the prophet to buy land. Mm -hmm. Yes. When a man of God comes and he tells you darkness is coming, he's telling you your time to shine has come. Yeah. <laughs> ah. To one rega pera usiri bamago. Let's see if this year ends and you're not in your own house. Let's see if it ends and you are not in your own house. Hear me. 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 There is something that we carry that speaks. That even when you choose not to speak, it will speak. That's the season now. All along you've been trying to convince people where you belong, the church you go to. Let light do the talking. Light. This year the light will speak. The glory upon your life will speak. Can I be told, imagine the Bible is saying, the prophet is saying to a man, arise no. and shine. Mm. So it's up to you yes. to what? Shine. To arise and what? Shine. And he's saying your light has come. Light is being given at the time of darkness. When it's so dark, now your light has come. Mm. And the same thing that we see here, wake up Wake up. The night is fast spent. 
You just need to focus right from the beginning, something that you never did last, last year. You focus, set your eyes on something. Paul said it. He said, one thing that I do, one thing that I do, forget the things that are behind and focus. I'm determined. I'm looking forward to the goal. Identify something, 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 some just find something. Let's put this light to test. Something. I want you to see the operations of this God that we serve in this house. Something. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those, those things, things which are before. before. Forget it. What you have gone through, it's, it's gone. It's gone. If there is any mischievous evil spirit, we know how to deal with those ones. It doesn't take us 20 minutes or 20 hours or what, no. Right now, if there is any demon huh, that has followed you into this year, in a split of a second, I'm sending it back to December 2023. It's happening now. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that sound? Some of you people, because you are reasonable people, you are wondering, so but, Prophet, how, how can you send it to, where is December? How come the demon is not asking that question? <laughs> You should be asking the question, how come demons are responding? Mm. Where do, they know where to find December 2023. Mm. They know. <laughs> we know how to put an end to a night. What is that demon still doing in January? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. If you know how to put on it means you know how to put off. Okay, okay. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Put off the old man, yeah. the old nature, and yeah. put on yeah. the new man. Yeah. You can make a decision from yeah. this morning. Yeah. No more demonic possession. Again. Next time you come here, you are representing your family, you say, I'm here because my family is suffering. Not we are, my family. <laughs> when the time finally comes and God is ready to set free the entire nation, He picks Moses. One man, he picks Juliet. He picks Antonio. One man. He has picked you up. He's putting the light on you and he's sending you back to your generation and you set free everyone. You have that ability. Some of just your generation is a ministry. Your family is a church. What did God say to Gideon? You shall deliver the nation as one man.
There is someone in this place. The rest of you, I don't know, but there is one person here. You know this is my year. This is my message. Darkness encourages me. When things get tough, I get tougher. Make a decision. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. I want to see who is going to stand in my way. What was so special about Joshua that God said to him, no man shall ever stand before you. No man. It means there is no man who can make a decision even in parliament to bring you down, to bring your economy down. The armor of light. We are, it's no longer time for us to go to, uh, to the hospital and we are going there to pray for the sick. No, we go there to shine. This armor, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, by the time some of you will get to September, there, this armor would have given you properties in foreign land. Foreign. Foreign. I know. I know this light. <laughs> from this place what you are carrying is a torch don't wait for the sun to come no now the mandate is upon you the responsibility is upon you no longer have to wait for the morning. I decide when this night ends. I decide. I decide. I decide. Not, not even a single person. If you make that decision now, quickly in January, you can make a decision. No man born of a, born of a woman will ever worry me again in my life. No matter what they say about me, make a decision. Your life is more important. You're worried about people who cannot find rest, always thinking about you, talking about you, planning against you. I have to now live my life. How do you live your life? Identify the life that you are living that is not yours. Put it off. Put it off. This moon was stressing. I'm not someone to be stressed. Do you stress one and Do you stress one and Do you stress one and No. Problems they come to be solved. Being stressed by this. I don't need that. to be stressed before I solve a problem. I carry the armor of light. I carry the armor of light. If a problem comes to test my armor, <laughs> if a problem comes to test my armor, yes. let's see. Let's see. 
So you think the devil Think only the devil is allowed to plan horror against you? So that the year is difficult? Who can't plan? Let him plan. We are also planning here. Let him increase in darkness. We are also increasing in light over here. There is no disease. There is no virus. There is no infection. That can take your life unless light allows it. <laughs> Are you following this? Are you following this? Are you following this? So who, who is going to intimidate whether people or if spirits or even the devil himself, if, even if he comes? If, whether you see yourself in a coffin, you wake up in the morning, you arrange your breakfast. You celebrate the death of death. It's not me. Whoever was planning that, that's your coffin over there. Not going anywhere until the armor allows that to happen. So we are going to be working on the armor of light. I will work on it to a point where I'm not just talking of the light in terms of just a knowledge, no. I would work on it to a point where some of you literally, physically, the light will have to shine. You see. You see, I've, I've said it, right? You see, I'm talking of light that appears on people. Light that accompanies people. I'm talking of visible light, not just spiritual, not just in knowledge. I'm talking, they will see the pillar of fire upon you. With that light, you'll cast out a legion of demons, a legion. A legion. Right now, as I'm speaking to you, some of you have been diagnosed. You, you already you know you have a condition. The war has begun. Right now, there is a conflict between that condition and the armor of light. Leave this place this morning knowing already I have given you a prescription. Light has become your medication from today. That light is going to frustrate that condition in your blood. Let that light begin to work. It will work in a chemo. It will work chemo. like chemotherapy. It's going to be so hot in your body until until everything that ails you is depleted. Until you can no longer be identified with your forefathers who suffered and they died in the wilderness. As for you, you will arrive in the promised land. You will get to the promised land. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? You, see, you are at a level where you cannot be convinced by mere stories. You believe a statement, and then you believe it. Where people simply just make statements like there's no more money and you believe that. And you believe it. There are no more jobs and you believe that. Whoever has told you that was cinema basa, he's telling you what to start. Whoever has told you that. Whoever announces darkness to you, he's telling you where to shine. 
Shua yao ugo ya pana pa Watu uzuka uzuka kusisi na warumi ugo ya pana pa Ugo enda pa musora pa ugo tari sao Ugo usha ya warumi ya Surely having come to a place like this Having been told that there are no more men out there You come and you look into this audience And you see that and you are convinced there are no more people No more men Zite That's impossible Zite That's impossible Zite That's impossible Some of you, if I'm to ask you now, so for how long have, we, have you been carrying this idea, this pregnancy? You know it naturally. If it exceeds nine months, you are worried. Ten, you are even more worried. Eleven, ah. Because you know. You know. There is a certain stipulated time. You cannot keep on dreaming. Keep on hoping. Keep on waiting. There comes a year. There comes a month when the desire is supposed to be born. Talking of the armor of light. For years, we have been putting on our regalia and our wristbands. Here comes a new armor. New armor. New armor. Don't ask, don't ask me for prayer after I've greeted you. They will have to know that. I'm talking about you. What you will say to them? After a greeting is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Yes. This armor, if I, I'm going to tell you what it can do. There is no door. This armor cannot open. A man who carries this armor, there is there's nothing bigger than him. I'm, talk, I'm talking of what, one man who was putting on a mantle. Yeah. The king was begging him, please honor me mm. before the people. They know where honor comes from. Yeah. A man who carries the light carries the honor. You carry the honor of your generation. Yeah. Chiefs, never sabuk, they will ask you. Chiefs and honor. village heads. They will beg you to honor them. You. What are we talking about? Yes. The armor for it? I wish I was allowed to also give my testimonies. I wish. I would show you <laughs> how this armor has worked for me. Just the one. Ah, you see? When, ah, okay, next time. Next time. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you. Mine, mine. When it comes to mine, they're a bit extreme. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, not now. Not now. Not now. Believe me when I tell you these things. Believe me when I tell you these things. 
I wouldn't be this confident. I know, like I've told you, I saw what is going to be happening throughout. And this arm of light is not even a thing, though we have written the year, it's not even for the year. This armor will be put on. This is a permanent theme. It's a continuous theme. Some other themes will come. But I'm telling you, this thing, once you test it, you are not going to put it off. How it's going to save your life. How it is going to work for you. You will come here, you will testify. At the end, everyone will just be saying, am I? This is the armor. This is the armor. That's the testimony. This is the armor. Only the armor of light can produce this. What is it that you cannot do? Tell me. You look at those people that have been able to achieve. What's, what's so special about them? Some were privileged. They had lesser light than you. But even if you have, even if you have lesser light, you know, once there is more darkness, even the little light you have, it is that same darkness that will make it brighter. The more the devil tries to push you down. Ah. I've told you before, if you're shooting an arrow, if you want it to go the furthest, you draw it behind. The more you draw it behind, the more you draw it behind, the further it goes. When you are pushed back the furthest, where you can see that your life has gone back. All you are waiting for now is a release. Then watch. Watch where you are going. You know now, God gave you 2023. It was not just a year that God gave you. He gave you an opportunity to know the wrong people. Wrong friends, wrong connections. Now you know them by name. Please don't look behind you, don't look at your neighbor. But you now know there are people that were so good at draining you. Experts. You meet them, you lose your energy. Story after story after story, and you are drained. Complain after complain after complain, and you have no hope. This time around, create another team, a new network of lights. Who inspires you the most? Make a connection. Seek audience with people that will leave you more fueled. And declare your interest. Let them know, my brother, somehow, when I hear you talk, I get motivated. I would want to spend more time with you. Declare your interest. Let them know. That is going to help you survive. Whatever is coming this year. I've told you, darkness is there. The more the darkness, the brighter the light. The darker it gets, the brighter you will shine. All you need to focus on right now is, how do I get to increase my light? I need more information. Hungry for knowledge. Hungry for knowledge. Hungry for knowledge. Make a decision. This time I'm going to strike a balance. It's not just a prayer. Word. It's not just fasting. Reading. Study. Research. 
Read books. Watch how your light is going to shine. You are going to have knowledge and understanding which is above non-believers. They have to know that you know. An opportunity is coming to you, some of you, before even June. You will have an opportunity to stand before kings. When that opportunity comes, wisdom will come out of your mouth. Light will shine through your veins. An opportunity is going to be created where there is darkness and you are invited to come and you shine. Where we started ministry back then, you think yeah, you, 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 you think of a crusade. We, I know of a certain girl who got possessed and she lost her mind. And she could not eat. For days now, they were fearing for her life. She's, she's, she's not moving even an inch. At first, she was screaming. She was saying a lot of things, a lot of nonsense, and until she lost consciousness. Different men of God were invited from different churches. They were coming with all sorts of methods trying to help this girl come out of this state. It had to it had to be known. The biggest guys that were considered spiritual guys had to go there first. You see how God creates darkness. And we heard of the matter and somebody was sent. There is this boy. Why not try him? And I had to, I had to ask, who did you consult first? I had a list. I needed to know. Because I wasn't supposed to go there first. They were supposed to go there first and try the death. I'm, I'm talking of opportunities that God will create for your light to shine. Some of the things that you will see happening that are so disastrous, and everyone will be crying. What is this that is happening? What is this that is happening now to this country? Some of you must understand this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. In your place where you are coming from, an opportunity is going to be created by God, but it will appear as chaos. When they cry, don't cry with them. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Great men and women are coming out of this place this morning. Coming out of this place this morning. So it's just a few weeks from now. I'll be asking you, so where is your night? How far with your night? Because I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. I am as this eye. These eyes. These eyes. They see. Yeah. It's in the way it's in on these ears they hear. What this mouth eventually says is the least of it. Yeah. Yeah. We, see more. we see more, we hear more than we That's eat than we speak. My life. I spend time more time with God than with humans. I know what I'm saying. There is no person under the I sun. I spend more time with God than with humans. So I'm telling you what I know. This light is an armor. 
It's an armor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you make that decision, I want to focus on this thing until I get it. I want to hear God. What else are you saying? Okay, when you say, I want to hear God, you are also telling God, he's going to ask you, so, he's going to ask you that. So if you want to hear from me, who is it that you don't want to hear from anymore? Who is it that you've been speaking with? Two hours. For two hours. <laughs> Sending all sorts of emojis. Who is that? You can ask my wife when was the last time she saw me <laughs> on the phone. You can ask her how many months it's been since I was on the phone just speaking with somebody over the phone, unless it was her. Hello, hello, hello. Where's my number? Everybody who has my number here, go ahead and call and see if somebody's going to answer you. I know the danger of hearing from you. So that when I come here and I'm telling you what I've heard, I'm telling you what I've heard there. That's the only God told me light will save you this year. Ah! I don't know I'm telling you, gossip. The Lord has said, Light this year will save you. No matter what they plan, no matter what they do, the armor of light will vindicate you. It will protect you. It will guard you. It will secure you. The armor of light. Whatever God is going to start with you, it's not going to be small. It's going to be according to the size of your light. If it's ministry, you may start small. But my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, you will not end there. If it's a business, definitely it will start small. But hear me, child of God, it will not end there. Books and magazines shall be written concerning your beginning and how God has lifted you up. Your testimony shall touch nations. Are you listening to this? Right now you are looking at yourself. You are thinking you have come to the end of your life. And I'm coming here. I'm not supporting your idea. You are lying. You are lying. You are lying. Closer. To this year, I was moving, I was around that area, and I was saying, Now, this night was too long, now your morning is coming. Over there. Your morning is coming. There is something that you can do now. It's up to you. Make a decision. What is it that I'm supposed to do to make this new year new? There will be nothing new about the year unless you make this year new. Make a decision. I'm going to make this year new. 
And whatever is going to make this year new, it is something new that you're going to do. Something new that you're going to do. Don't just think of a habit that you're going to put off. A replacement of that habit. What is it that you're going to begin to do instead so that you don't create a character vacuum? What is it that you're going to start doing now? And watch how light is going to support you. If you say $50 is not enough, $100 is not enough, $200 salary is not enough. It's not enough for you to say that. How much is enough? Wow. What do you want? Jesus is asking the blind man, what do you want me to do for you? He did not say, Whatever no. you feel like doing, my Lord. What is it that you want? That I may receive my sight. Take it. What do you want? This year. If you tell me what you want to achieve, I'll tell you the battles you need to fight. Be ready to put on the armor of light and fight. I'll tell you the road you need to walk on. I'll tell you the creatures that you're supposed to encounter there. Let's get to the point where we now enjoy the fight. Taking pleasure in battle because you now have strategies. Ask me, Ask me and I'll tell you there's no such thing as a tight corner. People talk. There is always a way out. It's just that you won't prefer that particular way. That's yes, a corner a way out. Every corner that the devil has put you in there is definitely a way out. How can there be a corner with no way out? How did you get in that corner in the first place? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. The route that you took to get into that corner is an actual road. The road that took you from your rural area to Mwarara. Can't it take you back the other way? The same road. There is always a way out of every tight corner. Just make a decision. Make a decision. Make a decision. Make a decision. They say that if you try and put a cat in a corner, you'll come out of there thinking you have encountered a lion. I'm telling you, you will flee from a cat. Cats. A cat. It, it, a cat knows when it's come to the point where it's had enough. And it says it's not going to repeat that this year. You're back again? You're at a point where you know that it's your money that's being requested at the graveyard for the coffin. <laughs> you need to be able to tell them that it's you who's going to be buried. You need to tell the ailing person that I am not, I am not coming to your funeral. So if you choose to be mischievous and die, know that I'm not coming there. You'll die for nothing. That merciful nature of yours is what the devil knows.
Every time there's a funeral, you are the first to arrive. What can I do? They are my relatives. So who's going to be left to bury you since they've all died before you? And it's all the, the evil spirits just you know, so the a trend, a, a darkness, a. You can see when it's now a trend, when it's a trend of darkness and everlasting night. That's continuing. Make a decision. A number who's there in front of you, you got traffic light. Didn't I? Red. What does he see? Red. You got out with it? Mira. Don't tell me. I gave you this, this example before that a red traffic light. Oh, Mira. You stop, that's the law. You stop, that's the law. Have I stopped? I've stopped. So where's the green light? Whether Wambo Mira time is go kuza go to each. Even if you've waited at some point, you'll realize that this light, red ish. this red light, Ina Satan ish. the devil is involved. You hear the motorists behind you telling you to ignore the that we will never arrive. Let's go. Red or not, let's go. No matter how tough the situation, let's go. Even if it's not working out, let us go. This thing cannot stop us anymore. I want you to think of something bigger. Bigger things. Bigger things than just a relationship with an individual. Bigger things than just a marriage. There are bigger things than that. Bigger things. You see, heavenly, heavenly beings are so advanced, they already openly declared, <laughs> we don't even do marriage around here. They are thinking of bigger things. <laughs> don't allow silly things to stress you out. Your life is more important now. I have to work. I will go out in the morning. I will hunt. The Lord will guide me. The light will help me find. This also. That's it. This also. That's it. This also. That's it. We drove past um, a gathering of the White Garment Church. There was an Isuzu parked on the side of the road. And then I said to the person I was with that these are the kinds of things people I can ignore. Guarantee you we are motor this person, this one person with the car. Is the, without asking, I can tell you, the one with the car is the one who's preaching to that assembly there. We didn't wait there to find out that what he's That person has a say over all of those people. Whatever he says, they will listen. Why? The Bible says money is a defense. The person who cursed money wanted you to be cursed. You will have audience this year. They will listen to you this year. There will be something on you that will draw men's attention. Listen to what he's saying. Now he's talking about money and he's talking about prayer. And... I'm giving you tangible facts. Now you can go and you can ask who owns this car. Any funeral, I wrong, so I'm sorry. Attend any funeral, ask who it is who's going to be funeral. arranging the funeral. 
even a funeral. Okay. No, we want to bury them in the rural areas. Ah, some are not doing this. They don't go for a walk. They don't go for a walk. They don't What could we do? We just thought we should take them to the rural areas and bury them there, and then the person with money. Ah, they buzz. No, the person who has money for the bus. No, the pick up and take our coffee. India no desire. Money for the bus, the fuel, the pick up to to carry the dead body would makes the decision. Yeah, yeah, got to go to go to go to go to go to If that person says that we are burying them, if that person says we are burying them here, then that's where they'll be buried, whether you like it or not. Certain paka ko rambit za paka ita naro newe kutu saite mari ndozi nuzwa ita kutori raizos. When they say, when the devil was determined for you not to have money, money, all he wanted you not to have was a say. But waka visir wazino zuna ita kutu utendeke. He took and removed things that allow for you to be believable. Bisho. Yes. Ah. To that we represent the kingdom we do. We want to represent our kingdom. Chaizo. Proper. Ndakakudza ndina ambassador ndaiudza ndaiudza mapaza ndina ambassador we imwe nyika. Ngari neighbor we do sata tama kupa pata chikara. Neighbor. I told you There was an ambassador of a certain country who was our neighbor before we moved. Birthday, it was a birthday or I said it was something to do with Nikayaga or birthday Raki. So people were coming and then we were also told we were invited but I could not attend but I had to send a gift. And a week later the gift was brought back. It was money. U.S. Yes. And it was brought back with a letter. He was so thankful for the gesture. So thankful. It was a very long letter. But he openly told me, given my position, I cannot take this. And he was appreciating his country. It wasn't even an, um, an American. <laughs> Because the US, it's US, United States dollar. We got our money back from him. He is an ambassador representing his country here. But he could not take money from me. Just to prove a point to me that my country is taking care of me. It should never be had by my country that I got help from here. that level of loyalty to your kingdom it should never be had said what this is what you call breakthrough I've never seen this in church. Yet people outside even with less light they know how to represent their home, their kingdom. Let it not be heard. You are in this world not to be helped. You are here to help. It has to go into records. that you have people that you have raised it's a matter of time doesn't matter you've been helped before you're being helped this now this is not your destiny few days from now you are going to germinate your mandate is not to be raised but to raise god will use you as his hand to raise I want you to lift your hands wherever you are. If you are in the overflow, you just lift your hands if you can stand, stand. I want people to understand this. Understand this. As we start to enter into this year, and I'll be 
opening up scriptures for you, showing you things. What I'm going to be showing you, apart from just saying things, you heard me already, I was warning you of what was going to come. You heard it on the screen. That this is the era. It will be spoken. And you get it. It will be spoken. And you get it. I want you to begin to see the other side that God is going to allow me to open up. You will see. Okay? Right now I've told you it's being contained. Very, very tightly sealed. We'll open just a corner. Soon. Soon. We'll open just a corner. And I want you to get as much as you can. And you will believe that indeed this is the season that you have been waiting for and God has remembered you. God's children by nature they are superior. You will see places where you will experience defeat. If you look at that defeat one more time, you will see it's victory. <laughs> this light is going to wipe away your tears. This light is going to wipe away your sweat. You will do transactions and businesses with ease. If God wants you to be recognized, if God wants you to be noticed, he will lead you to a critical, known situation that you will address. And when you begin to rise from that moment, you will never go down again. This is one thing that I know. God uses people. He's not only going to use people to help you, he's going to use you to help people. Right now, you look at it, it appears as though it's just like that other year. Not so. Not so. Not so. I told you the number of people that I saw, it was a big number of lights that I saw shining. And he said to me, this is the hope, this is the solution. The only solution to this darkness this year is this armor of light. Talk to them. Arm them. Equip them with light. And they will bring you stories, my son. They will bring you testimonies. I will make you sit down and you will listen to your people and they will tell you stories of how they have overcome. Give them light. I'm giving you this light now. I will give it to you as I speak and I will open a window of my life. And that river will flow as I speak. You will see. You will see. I will mention anything and you, the moment you hear it, it will hit you like a rock. Immediately, immediately, you leave the service and you enter into what was spoken. I'm talking of 24 hour miracles, notable miracles. I'm not talking of seven years waiting again. No. I have so many things and I turned to hesitate. That I was doing it. This time I was going to do it again. 
This time, if you don't want to, then you don't have to. I've never given you, we, we have never done things. I have never done anything that's really worth criticizing. But where we're going now, we're going to give you something that's worth the criticism. I want to show you how a miracle is really performed. Because the formulas are there. There are answer books. I want you to see that we are not all humans. You need to understand we have been sent by God. We are men on a mission. This is not our first generation, some of us. You need to understand that. We are pilgrims. We are on a journey. I know my mandate and I know my assignment. The people that I was sent by the Lord to pick up, I'm definitely going to pick them. I will never fail to find them. I'll pick them. Oh my God. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this year. Yes, we will see the face of the Lord. He will not hide from his people anymore. Your thirsty shall be quenched. Your hunger shall be satisfied. You are invited into glory this year. You are redeemed from shame. Delivered from any form of harassment. Where you were a disgrace, you shall be celebrated. Lord, I'm thanking you this morning for making light accessible. The day is at hand. We now have light in our hands. We no longer carry confusion. We carry solutions. Where you are needed, we will go. Where healing is required, we shall provide. Raise your son today. Raise your daughter today. Make them flames of fire. The hand of the enemy will not touch them anymore. Let light vindicate you. I declare now every month you open victorious you close it victorious. You open with a celebration. 
you close with a celebration. Oh my God. Oh my God. I would want to pronounce a curse over every situation of dryness. Life of dryness. You are dry. There is no oil. Spiritually dry. Financially dry. The Lord this morning is causing it to rain in your desert. And there shall be rivers. Hear ye the voice of the Lord. Your barren land shall blossom. Flowers will begin to come out now. I speak to your body. May your body agree with this level of success that is coming now. If. Your mentality will agree your intelligence will agree with the level of success that is coming your way. I prepare you today with light. No man, no woman, no boy, no girl under the sound of my voice today shall be harassed by the devil again. You shall not be harassed by the devil again. The day is at hand. Light has come. It is right in your hand. Make a decision. I'm going to make this new year new. So I will open up some few things to you. from the next service that we're going to have. And I want you to see. I want you to see you need the grace of God because of what you're going to witness. Ask God for that grace. You, you won't believe it's happening in your time while you are there. You'll see it with your eyes. You hear me? You hear me? I want you to do this prayer now. You are going to pray. The gra for grace sufficient for this message. I've heard messages before. But this one is sounding different to some of you. Where God tells you the darkness that is there and he gives you the solution. He tells you, by this you will come out. You are asking God now for that light. Arm me. Help me put on this light that fights and teach me how do I keep such a light? How do I communicate with such a light? How do I know when the light is ready to fight? How do I know so that I don't contradict what the light is trying to do? As you are praying, 
I will be teaching you some of these things. Secrets of the kingdom. How we are supposed to represent our kingdom and never do anything that will end up undermining the kingdom that we're trying to represent. We are here to shine. We are not here to add to the darkness. We are here to bring light. Child of God, even as we are going to pray, you are praying for this. It's favor for yourself. Mercy from the Lord so that you are led into this path of light. Whilst you are praying for yourself, don't forget to pray for your nation. Everyone is going to pray. If you are coming from any country, if you are coming from America, if you are coming from Zambia, if you are coming from Malawi, Tanzania, you are going to pray for your nation. Because it is in that place where your light is going to shine. I'm asking you now to pray for those two things. Enough grace, enough favor. Lord, grant it. Help me understand this theme. Help me receive this inheritance of light, which is an armor. And you also pray for your nation. And I'm going to ask you to do this. Pray for your nation. Pray for your country. Those of you in this country, Zimbabwe, pray for Zimbabwe. You do it now, today, not tomorrow, today, today. And the Lord is going to be gracious unto us. If I tell you there is hope, I'm not lying to you, there is hope. We can decide now when this night will end. It's up to us. Not up to them, it is up to us to decide. I want you to lift up your voice wherever you are and pray now. Lift your voice. Kibra <laughs> Rodiamaya, Shabri Gatos, Kavandaya, Rikomanda, Repetesa, Lapete Kendeke Zeteke, 
Jesus name. So those of you that are going to be here on Sunday you keep praying and those of you that are going to be watching us live still pray because the grace is sufficient whether you are here or you are not here. Just stay connected and you see what is coming your way. Hear me. I came during the week and I encouraged you to So a seed thanking God for the previous year and also oh you are doing it already not, not now pastor, pastor is coming pastor Kufa is coming I'm just reminding you of what I said it's a it's a formula it works. It works. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. There is a giving of thanks which is beyond what can be said. Thank him for what he did for you you can sow your seed of faith for this year. So those two envelopes, you submit. Pastor is going to tell you how you are going to do that. All I needed to do was to tell you that that program is very important. It's very important. Take it seriously. And number two, if I were you, I would not go home without taking the communion. Don't. Don't. It's a bit organized this time. Our pastors are going to be very, very fast. So it's not going to keep you here for too long. The Holy Communion is going to be saved. Make sure that you receive. <clears throat> you receive the body. You receive the blood. Take part. Be one. This communion is very important for most of us. Please, don't miss out on this one. If I were you, no matter what, this is an entry point. This is the beginning. God said to Israel, Moses, tell them, this shall be the beginning of your year. 
It happened, yes, at Passover, but it happened the day they took the body of the lamb. And that day they came out. And this will become the beginning, not only of the year, probably of your better life. You will be smiling all the way. So you need the Holy Communion. It has already been prepared. All we want you to do is just to receive it in faith and be thankful to God. We have to do it celebrating, rejoicing. Now we know we have entered, we know the theme. And the year has come. Light has come. The night is far spent. No more darkness, no more confusion. I will be coming to church to receive impartations of mantles, a sharing of light, so that the testimony of the preacher becomes my testimony also. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? That the same God who fought my battles will fight your battles. My testimony will also become your testimony. Do you believe that? Yes. But the next time an angel of God comes to my house, before he goes back, he also passes through your house. Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. If you believe it, give a shout of praise yes. to God. Yes. Give a shout of praise yes. to God. One more time, a shout of praise to God. So, shout of God, I would want us to take our seats wherever you are. You can take your seat. Pastor Kufa is now taking over. He's leading us into, even me, I won't leave this place without taking the Holy Communion. I won't leave this place. I will still be in this place until I take the communion. It's important for you. It's important for you. So let's put our hands together for the man of God. Let's put our hands together for him. Choir, can you give us a song? Let us put our hands together for our father. You are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed to have such a father and such a mother. Be able to count your blessings. Choir, can you give us a peace? Can you give us a peace? Before, before we do that, um, is there anybody without an envelope? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Please, quickly, our finance team, can we... Thank 